okay what's up everybody welcome to the big monday afternoon build stream over here on the big grim green youtube channel you know it just used to be me here but now we've got a whole mess of builders i started building like with, with wire it's been a fun little adventure honestly you guys and my, my good friend kent twisted messes how are you doing kent hill twisted messes dude i'm just fine nick you know doing whatever awesome? You seem to be real high energy today. I'm gonna need you to calm down a lot. Oh, your sarcasm. Not, not. I'm not impressed with it right now. <laughs> you could probably think it through next time before Damn. you just start talking. You know. That was a. That was. You just. I don't know why you're down. being difficult today. Shot this is why they down. say never meet your heroes. This is exactly. This is why. it. This is why. This is exactly why. Well, Kent has been, uh, I was going to say a lot of really nice things about Kent. Just, uh, <laughs> like really nice things, but uh, we'll, we can just skip all that um, because we have, I, people have called this man a legendary builder. I've heard Kent use the term a legendary builder, and the legendary builder that we have today right here, wave to everybody, it's Nick Divine. This is ndivine83 on Instagram, on YouTube, uh, longtime builder in, in the vape world. He's done, you know, YouTube videos that are like instructional videos, like he wanted to teach people how to build, and I think that's, uh, I think that's awesome. So welcome, Nick. Thank you for being here, bro. I very much Thank you for it. having me, and yeah. I, I appreciate everybody that's put the word out, especially Ken, everybody in chat. It was awesome, but yeah, it should be yeah. fun. Should be real fun. I'm stoked you're here. Here, okay, I'll say some nice things about Kent. Kent has really helped me a lot in coil building. He has really motivated me, inspired me. He's been very, very helpful and instructional and in, like getting me to do some like pretty cool builds. Like I'm not saying a staggered fuse Clapton is like, you know, the pinnacle of building this, but it felt real good to get that accomplished last week. And I couldn't oh, yeah. do it without yeah. Kent. You know, I couldn't have done it. All I'm saying me. is, Nick, this has been available all the time. You know, this has always been here. The thing I that's know. changed is you, and it's a beautiful thing. It's it a beautiful is. thing. I am the thing that has changed. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, I have no idea how much joy it brings me to see fucking Grim Green building coils. It like, even if you had just kept too. building Fuse Claptons, I would have been stoked. Like, back in the day. I'm talking five, like four years ago when you, right, when I you first did that started. video. Yeah. Yeah. But you lost interest. I was like, that eh, happens, you know? It's not that happens I lost... To, happens to the best of us. It's not that I lost interest. It's that I was over... Uh, I guess I overestimated my ability. I did, like, one good fuse Clapton, and I, I've said this before, but at that time, I thought, oh, I, I got this. I got a good hand oh. on, on building. I, I know how this works. I, I get it. Oh, I, I see. Like, oh, I get it. I just needed to dip my toe in. Ah. Okay, I get it. I yeah, yeah, it. that's like when I fucking I, I don't mean to I don't mean to derail, derail. real far. <laughs> derail. But back when I was like uh, I think I was eleven or twelve, right? How we had a, like a drum set, basic drum set. Somehow we had gotten one. We didn't have a lot of money. There was a drum set in the house. Sure. And so like someone had my brother had showed me like the most basic shit, mm -hmm. and like I got it down. It was like the most basic. And I'm like I don't even know where you can go from here. I pretty much have drumming now. <laughs> <laughs> so I could what I'm saying is I could totally relate to how you felt like okay. you, you, you know you do okay. like the most rudimentary thing you're like oh that wasn't too bad I, all right I got cool a good I, handle I got on this. this yeah you feel like you got I see a good what you're handle saying on it. 
And I I'm, a, I'm like this. I'm like, well, if he could do it, I definitely could do it. So, yeah, you know, I only have to try. <laughs> I don't even have to try. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> I don't even have to try. If he could do it, I could do it. I swear, I used to get mad at watching the squid dude wrapping that damn staple coil, and I would have to, like, watch his body language and stuff. Because I would be like, there's something. He's doing something. He's making it look easy. But that was like the hardest thing for me. Core book was wrapping a a rib, a staple ribbon, no frames around the bit. Oh, it was the hardest dude, thing, and he made it look so point easy. Five? Point yeah. five, yeah, it's fucking impossible to this yeah, day. Point I can't five. do it. <laughs> that seems impossible. It seems like not something anybody can do. No, do no, 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 no. It seems possible. It seems like easy when you've never tried it, mm-hmm. and then when you go to fucking do it. The shit won't stay straight. It twists, bends all the way around. You're like, okay. You're and then you try. The more you fight ribbon it, ribbon wire, like vertical ribbon wire bending thi- like this way, standing it up. Itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. that. Whoa. Yeah. Because yeah, because er- the wire like, and back then it was fucking freehand. We weren't using swivels, so like, your tension's different throughout the whole entire process, and the shit's already twisted a little bit. And so when you start twi- trying to bend that shit vertically, yeah, he he. Squid Dude was a master. He's like, just stick it in the vice. Stick your shit in the vice. Hole clamp it down and then grab it. I couldn't get it in the vice. It didn't yeah. work for me. I gave up on staples. Have you built yeah. one? He was very deliberate. Yeah. Though. If you actually looked at it, his movements were very deliberate. And then I started to understand, like, he's actually being very careful with that. He's making it look easy, but I, he's making it, he's being very careful with what he's doing. Yeah, Squid Dude's something else, dude, because he's a fucking, he's Who an engineer. Thinks of that? Who the fuck? Uh, who even thinks of that? Let's stand the ribbon up. No, it's the opposite way. Because what happened with me with ribbon <laughs> is like, I yeah. made like a big stack of ribbon, made a coil like back in 2014 or whatever, and I vaped it, and I was like, this tastes like shit. Like there's <laughs> mutes of flavor. It's horrible. So I was like, it's like ribbon sucks. Like that was my biggest mistake back in the making coils takes practice and time and patience. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's true. It. it is. It's it's relentless. You have to be mm. consistent and <sighs> fail and fail and fail and fail and then you get it. That's it. Just yeah. Time, practice, patience. I, yeah. And my, my biggest mistakes back in the beginning was being too too uh, focused on the performance of the coil, right? And so there's a lot of skills that I didn't learn just because I was like, oh, this first thing I tried didn't vape as good as just a fuse Clapton. So it's not worth it. That's how I always had like. Oh, you had like a baseline quality that you wanted to achieve. I was going for the vape experience of it. So if a coil didn't perform better than other coils, I would just write it off. But I was losing. I was missing out on so many skills that would come in handy later. Yeah. Four coils that actually do perform well, but back then the, you had a lot of pressure, man. Like so, to explain the situation back then is like, people had round wire builds, and if you posted like on Reddit a picture of a twisted build, yeah. they're like, why are you wasting your time, man? Two twenty-eight gauges. Why don't you just use a fucking uh, a, a, a twenty-six gauge, one strand? You save yeah. your time. This makes no difference. The reason is because Rip Trippers was making all these fucking stupid coils back then. They didn't do <laughs> shit. They didn't do anything. They didn't he, work. Didn't they didn't he taste the stovetop coil. Who invented Stove the stovetop coil? So I think the, the stovetop. I don't know who invented the stovetop, but that was a big one for me too. I tried to get a stovetop. I loved how they looked. Uh, I remember um, Parallel Grave Dance on build mode, and he used to put. Uh, he used to do a lot of really cool stovetops, and then like some guys would put in like, "This is my favorite bait." Stove, they're they're not stove a good top? vape. It's a, they His look great. Favorite vape is a stovetop. Yeah, I didn't even just, vape a stovetop. Yeah, this is this is earlier in vaping, of course. Like I, I you know, I'm pretty yeah. sure people are smart enough to know that it's not. It's not a good vape. It's not efficient. It's not. It's not the best way to go about this. It yeah. looks awesome though, and you know, I, and see, some people thing. look at it that way. Here's the thing, Mr. Nick Devine. I've looked at your Instagram a lot recently, and some of those coils are just completely unvapable, right? Mm-hmm. Completely unvapable. So where do you draw the line between, I want to build something that I think is going to give me awesome flavor, clouds, whatever, crispy crackle, or you go, I'm just going to build something just completely ridiculous that I know won't vape, but it's going to look cool as shit. So how I explain <laughs> it to people is, I found like 
my favorite baits a long time ago. Like I, I know sure. coils I like. My aliens, my fralians. I know what I, I build them quickly. I have my stuff ready. The other thing is really, it's just a hobby. It's just like if somebody yeah. were to sit down and make a model car, you know, a little model car, your dad's down in the basement, make a little, he can't drive it. Why is he making it? Oh. You know? You know, Bob Ross, nobody's Good. ever walked through one of his meadows. Nobody's ever swam in one of them lakes, but he catches no shit for this. You know? I like that. That is a perfect response. That's an incredible yeah. response. We enjoy the journey there. We enjoy the challenge. We enjoy sharing it. It's a, it's an art. It's just yeah. it's what it is. It's a weird one. It's a very it's a niche thing inside of a niche thing. It really it is. It really is, but it's I mean it caught on for some people. It really did. And you know, and there's no like it doesn't have to be usable. It can just look cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. to. Exactly. And see and see that's there's bravery in saying that in the face of a fucking huge crowd of people yelling, <laughs> but how does it vape yeah, though? Why don't you yeah. <laughs> how many fucking ohms is that, man? Yeah. How does it vape? And it's like, what do you mean how does it vape? You don't think it's fucking cool? Dude, I spent fucking three days on this build. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I don't care how it vapes, dude. I feel like, like <laughs> I feel like coil building in general, uh, I, you can appreciate when you look at a crazy complicated build you go whoa that's crazy but i don't think you can appreciate it on the same level unless you've like tried it and know how difficult it really is yeah i mean you can see it and it looks and it comes together beautifully and everything's spirally and everything's perfectly interlocked on these macros but there's eight thousand of them that are all super janky and it's super Dude. frustrating when you don't get it. And when you see it done right, you go, I failed at that. That's done right. I don't know. I, I have a deeper appreciation for it now, I guess. Yeah. Once you try it and you see that it's not as easy as like, I, I get a lot of people that say like, I, I did the alien first try. I got it. And like, oh, there's cool. people that get lucky out there. I mean, there's a lot of people trying aliens. There's people that get lucky out there. The second time I'll bet that it doesn't go as easy. Like I, yeah. it took me years to like be able to do them. Like, you know, 90% of the time. It took consistently. years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've done, I probably did 10 sets this week, and I think I only, like, did six of them were successful. But, and that's because I took a break during, you know, all this, sure, uh, sure. all this stuff. But, it, I mean, it takes it takes time and practice, and it's fun. It, I mean, that, that's basically what it is. It's a hobby. And it is. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a good one to have. It's a chill yeah. hobby. You can either buy, be by yourself, or if you want to, like, if you want to join people in a Zoom room or do live, whatever. Mm hmm. And uh, when I started, like, building, building, like, actually trying to build, I noticed that when I started looking at, like, these really intricate coil builds on Instagram, I, every time I looked at one, and I'm assuming you guys do the same thing, but every time I looked at one, I started, like, trying to deconstruct it in my head. You know, like, I'd look at the lowest wires and be like, how did those get on there? Oh, he had to do, yeah. maybe do this first and then this and then take that off. And like, I'm trying to deconstruct it in my head. Do you guys do the same thing when you look at a build? 100%. There's some guys yeah. out there that are doing some coils that I, I, um, I still can't figure it out. Like there's a, um, can't figure it out. Yeah, Kate yeah. Panzer. Really like there, there's a couple of like coil builds out there that I literally just haven't tried yet because of the evolution of coil building. And I look at them, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What did he use there? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Some That's shit amazing. just, some shit just looks like magic. Like it literally, does. cause when you de when you, when you find something that you untangle in your mind and it knots up in a big knot, you're like, okay, did they weave that in by hand? And then you, find, <laughs> you find out that they, sometimes they did weave it in by hand, yeah. but like, but also sometimes they didn't and it's a, literally just a process that you didn't understand and then once you know it you're like okay i see it now and it's, it's pretty it's pretty fucking cool but do you know what i spent like i feel really bad i just have to say this all right because i because <laughs> from Why? like i was super into coil building and i was like okay. in love with it you know and then the business started uh -huh. and i started making rdas and i got like totally involved in that and i just lost i didn't lose interest but like I, I didn't have any more time, right? I ran out of um, the amount of attention that I had. And so like coil building, like I just, I would still look at coils and like them, but I missed so much along the way. Like right. when I, and and I pretty much just ignored it I, for, I mean, 
neglected it, I should say. Uh, and so I feel, I feel being really a little, bad. An outsider's point of view, it's kind of fun. Sing, listen, like watching Grim Green, watching Twisted Messes, and you know, watching End Dot Divine Eighty Three. People enjoy watching us and you know other YouTube channels because they just like to see people passionate about what they're doing. And watching you exactly. guys go through, you know, and you know, be successful. It's a, it's a really fun to see. And it, like we got to watch like you two become friends. Uh, own boy oc become friends oh, yeah, and yeah. it's fun to watch and we don't really even think like that you know it's just i think that's a lot of weight that you're putting on yourself that people understand like ken's doing bigger things and we're proud of him you know yeah, it's yeah. awesome to see yeah. one of you know, one of the good guys made it is basically a, a way to look at it yeah i definitely yeah that's I sweet definitely would agree with that definitely would agree with that and for me it feels like coil building got so complicated so quickly like it just went it was like every day it was like next level stuff just happening and you're like what it went from like fuse claptons and suddenly within the span of a few months it was crazy fralians and naked framed staples with ribbon wire and like for me a part of it was it just felt so intimidating like i couldn't even possibly figure yeah. that out i couldn't even even if i was a builder and things progressed that quickly i would have felt like left behind just sitting in the dust yeah that is kind of how i felt like when i tried because in 2016 i tried to come back i was like okay i'll have to learn swivels now because obviously you need swivels for any of these fucking builds yeah and like so i couldn't get swivels to work and i would it sucks because i was i was doing it more like out of obligation that i felt for myself to oh, do it yeah, yeah because i'm twisted messes and so i'd go in my basement in my other house this is like back in 2016 and I'd fucking, I'd spend like, I spent like six hours, three nights in a row and nothing to show for it. And I just was like, I can't do this with my life. I was like, this is fucking <laughs> depressing, man. So that's, yeah. And I, I kind of got into, my life. I learned how to like, I got into the photography side a little bit and I started like stacking photos. I was having fun with that. Um, I remember but that then when I, you got all those like, uh, like uh, tracks for your cameras that could zoom in oh, and yeah. out. That was crazy. Yeah, still, you got really every, into that. Every picture, every picture I post on Instagram, I use that stuff still. But I actually, I really learned it from t in 2020. I started getting back into building, then the pandemic hit, and then I got obsessed with coils again. And that was yeah. fucking awesome. It yeah. felt like coming home, dude. So, and that what's so cool about that process is that I literally hadn't never done an alien on a swivel, right? I had never done it. Ever? I hadn't built, yeah. I hadn't, you were only I'd never done a really... I had made one successful oh, alien. It was freehand. It was the first one I tried. It was that beginner's luck shit, and uh, and so I was starting from basically scratch completely. And so I was able to like learn all the stuff. Not all the stuff. There's still a shit ton. Like I'm still, I'm not a very I'm not a crazy good builder or anything. But like, uh, but I was able to good. go through all the steps. And I learned what all these people have been doing over the years. I'm like, dude, this is so fucking cool. Like that yeah. that experience was so fun to see and then i had this greater appreciation like you said yeah much greater appreciation for all the builds because even as twisted messes when i was looking at all those builds i didn't even i couldn't deconstruct that shit man i had no idea how they were doing it and it was just like oh wow that's a really cool coil like it was literally on on your oh level yeah real cool coil can't do yeah, it exactly can't even deconstruct it can't even begin can't even begin but, what, but what's fucking cool dude is like you saw his hashtag use guys, right? Y -A -U -Z -G -U -Y -Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use guys. Like, if you look at that, there's some of the most insane builds you'll ever see in your life. Yeah. The whole entire page, thousands and thousands, right? And all those people are giving credit with the hashtag from learning from this guy right here. You know what I mean? Like and that, that is a huge impact on the current like group of builders around the entire world. Mm -hmm. There is kind of like them three generations of builders, I feel like. And there's like, um, it's awesome to see, man. Like when, when somebody like uh, Tobias builds by Italian says like he learned aliens from one of my videos. Like it's a great thing to have, you know. I, I've learned to take a compliment better these days. <laughs> right. I usually like, I'm here like, ah, you know. Uh, yeah, it was nothing. But I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's important what you're doing. See, I saw, I just saw this one on your hashtag use guys. That was okay. That's this K Panzer. Is, so yeah, shout this out is to like K -Panzer. some of the stuff. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I'm talking about. Now, this one in particular, I know where I would start, but I would not execute it that well. 
it's yeah i wouldn't but he's got some stuff but but this is crazy coil it's a that is a crazy coil and i was even just looking around the edges of what looks like a framed ribbon but it's like it's swirly like an alien still Mm -hmm. that is a trip that is just a straight up trip yeah, it's like a what a stitched overhang fucking alien using shit that you would never <laughs> use as an yeah, alien. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy, I dude. <laughs> I know that's unbelievable. Um, yeah. I, I wanted to sh- sh- see a few more of these because I thought there's a name for this one. Yeah, so that's a it's a okay. So it's technically an easy name is just it's an enigma with an inlay, but it's actually a hedgehog. I mean, it's got a really long name. I can share. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I love it's it. an interlocked, stitched hedgehog frame staple with a Clapton inlay. Ah, that well clapped next to an alien. Yeah, there's well, some... that's para. That's para or whatever. Though. Yeah, it's pa- Yeah, it's a parallel build. So one's an alien coil, and one's a, like like the big one, the Enigma The stitched build. with the stripe down the it, middle, like that. It's a double one. hedgehog. How do you say that shit? Double. Interl- so oh, in, a hedgehog say, would have is the two humps, yeah, yeah. right? So yeah. uh, like, uh, what is it called? An enigma is just the one. It almost looks like the Mohawk, but it's got four sides because the bottom has a has a point as well. So then a hedgehog has two humps on the top, and then they call like the other one a trinity. It has three humps on the top. I don't even. Sometimes I want to just explain. I, I, I want to explain the interlocking to Grim Green real quick. Can you make uh, yeah, it big that again, doesn't buddy? make any sense to me. Oh, yeah, man. make it big. I'm gonna explain yeah, it. it. I'm gonna explain cool. just the interlocking. There's a whole language with this too. A whole you language see, of coil building. You see, you see how that uh, little poking up alien thing, right, yeah. on this two two sides. Next. So, to, yeah. Right. See, see how there's two together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is the interlocking. So you, to make an interlocking alien, you can get rid of it now. It, to make an interlock, you can yeah make it smaller. To make an interlocking alien, you remember how you did the uh, staggered, that staggered coil? How there's yes. two wires on there. So you basically you put two wires on there at the same time, so they're same evenness. Then you decor and you stretch, and you make an alien with the two wires together. At the same so time, you have see to what I'm saying? Your decors together. <laughs> yeah, well, so usually you, it's saying, a, yeah, it's it's basically two aliens in one. Yeah. And pe- listen, listen, this isn't even like, it's a cool coil and everything, but I, I'll be honest with her. Like, I'll never say that I'm one, maybe, I, I would never say I'm the best coil builder, right? I'm a good teacher. There are some guys out there, Grim Green, that are doing like eight of, eight aliens at once. Like eight of, yeah. eight of them humps. It, in, uh, it, it hurts build. my brain because you see the alien, I mean, you see the alien wire, what appears to be towards the outside and then it kind of goes in, mm-hmm. but and then over like again. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. all just a pattern, black magic. Though, that we're just man- yeah, black it's all just magic. a pattern that we're manipulating to stretch across along. Yeah, it's the same yeah, alien we- pattern though. Yeah, I- imagine if his wire that that's wrapped around was three times smaller. You could make an alien, regular alien, out of it. Mm-hmm. Since it's yeah. so big, he's stretching that alien pattern across the top again and again. And it's just wrapping on the sides and you got two humps left. Just like when you make a decor and you're stretching it and you see the little waves. Yeah. Those are the waves left on top. You just leave them wrapping around and it just, he's got it a lot stretched perfectly, aligned perfectly so that it wraps around and makes that pattern. And to figure this out, there is like, you know, it is almost an exact science. Almost an exact science. That there's a it math. Can, there's yeah. a math it, can get, it can get as exact as you want on the math mm-hmm. part. I made fucking Excel spreadsheets like alien Did you really? calculators and shit. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. All right, hang on. Let's look at look at this. It works Let's look at this build 80%. for a second here. This is a Nick Divine original build. At first Ooh. glance, you know, you see I've seen a few of these on the internet. And once you see them over and over, you kind of a little but when you get close on them, you go, "Okay, wow, that is really crazy complicated." What is that? Corrugated in the middle? Is that what I'm saying? Yes, yep. Yep, that's I it. So know something. That's round wire, huh? Oh man. It's round. Cool. Wire. Corrugated. You ain't a real man until you quilt a couple papers in your life. <laughs> this is a paper quiller, and that'll bend the that'll bend the ribbon. Oh, I see. It's like little gears that you send you send the ribbon through. And so and it'll, it'll kind just... of corrugate it like that. Yeah. So for the most part, that's like the easy part. The um, so that's a that's a staple helix. It's just a form of a staple helix. Okay. This one is still when I think I was doing them all by hand. Like I, I would just do these all by hand, no drill. <sighs> Usually just sit at the couch yeah. and just. You know, with glasses. 
and uh, do that. But um, <laughs> those are, that's uh, the originator of that, that's Wire Theory, right? Of the Staple Helix. Wire yeah, theory, she came up with the Staple Helix, yeah. yeah. Oh. That, and I'm yeah. glad that, I, there's a big part of me that is really stoked on the builders and how you guys have kind of like, you give credit to the inventor, you, you generally name something after the creator, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, the terminology seems to be pretty much like level across. Like if you say corrugated to a builder, you guys kind of all know without any like a fit, you know, whatever. You guys all kind of know. It's just like a language, oh, yeah. Right. It's, yeah. Like a, it's like a like a tribal knowledge kind of language so that when you know if, <laughs> decor, everybody knows what a decor is. You know? if, own boy, if own boy ever watches this, he's going to be yelling right now. Why? I came corrugated. That was me. I did the <laughs> corrugated. I came yeah. Up with the uh, corrugated. yeah, I meant just the staple heels. Corrugated, I no. do actually. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I'm not saying cool. anything about yeah. you. I'm saying he, he's obsessed that he fucking invented corrugated, and I have I have a difference of opinion. But you know what? He's not here to defend himself. So. He's not. And he's I, not. No. I feel like I, I mean, got trolled during the whole corrugated birth too, dude. Because there was like a video going around of somebody on build mode just taking two of these screwdrivers. Together, screwdrivers, right? yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pharrell, yeah. That's how he used to do it. Really? He did. Really? He got really I good. I the ones with the notches. I got like ones with uh, like X's on it. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, he would take these and they had lines in them. I was like, no way. And he had a video That's... showing me that he's doing it that way, and I still didn't believe Yeah, it. he had a video, and I tried it, and I could not get I that shit even for the yeah. fucking save my life, dude. But yeah, Pharrell, that he was, I believe he's Canadian. Yes, yes, he, exactly, he was, yeah. He's the one that popularized those. Those are some of the coils which I saw, and I was like, this is something different. This looks mm -hmm. fucking cool. Yeah. And then Omboy, I guess previous to that, had like folded a ribbon back and forth, yeah. and then just wrapped it like a, just like around a, like it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't folded it was, like a okay, staple. Yeah, cord. we did. Okay, it was yes, just it up was and down, and so he very cool that, looking. I remember them. Yeah. Cool looking, right? Not the but same thing. But it was thing, different. Yeah, a little different. I don't think that gives you credit for all corrugated builds. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Sorry, sorry, old boy. But I mean, I if I didn't give, I don't. If he ever watched it, he'd be talking about it in his head. Like, why didn't you mention that I invented corrugated builds? You know, to me. Uh, I had a super chat here from Tom L. <laughs> he says, uh, so I made it. Two streams in a row. Say something cool, okay? Appreciate you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to say something cool today. All my super chats kind of disappeared, so I'm going back through them to see if I can find them. I think that was the only one I missed. But if you guys have any, have any super chats you want to get in, get them in. If you have any questions for Nick, oh, sure, yeah. get them in. You got a we got a real builder here. Question? Yeah. That's what always Kent says. Oh, real builder. Nick Devine's a real, a real builder. Now, this, see, this really begs the question: who, who, who came at this first? Was it Nick or was it Kent? It was. I don't 100 know. Percent Kent was building okay. first. So I could tell. I'll tell you the origin. So I want to hear it. And actually, within my story, I think I got. I could explain how coil building is a thing, even. So. Um, I guess I've been doing this. I don't even know. It's, it's probably going on six years. Ever since I've been vaping, almost immediately I started building my own coils. Right. So I would go on Rip Trippers would be the very first, the very first video of the year. Um, so he would do them videos, and then when he did the zipper coil, he mentioned Kent, and then mm -hmm. I went over to Kent's. I remember Kent mentioned. I, th I believe Squid Dude, and I go over Squid Dude. He mentions Blue Eyed Goon, and I I hate social media. I, I especially when I was younger, I just hated it. I'm from the AOL days, and it's just I didn't like fighting with people on there. So I just stayed away from social media until yeah. Coil Building came, and I wanted to share that I actually finished an alien before Swivels. Like Swivels weren't even things, so this wasn't special to me. But you know, I I, I wanted to go over there and share it. And then I started noticing all these other coil builders. I go over at Twisted Messes had a team by this time. Mm -hmm. um, I would follow all them. Um, and remember having teams, Kent? Yeah, remember yeah, team, team Twisted Messes. It's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> they were definitely fun to follow. I mean, I, it's it's definitely a. Uh, um, it's definitely something I look back as as being a fun thing, getting in the coil building, getting on Instagram, getting to share the pictures, not having to talk to a lot of people, but sure. you know, everybody was really nice. And I think our community as a whole, the vape community, is 
pretty decent. There's not a lot of drama that goes on. I think that's because we're all fucking adults. But yeah, yeah. That's probably the main thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I started vaping, actually, uh, because my boss basically wanted to save money on smoke breaks. And he mentioned, you know, what if we vape inside, you know, instead of taking these smoke breaks? And I already tried like a blue e so I would go there to the shop. I would pick up one of them other, you know, just the ego pens, yeah, and use that. And then I'm noticing I need a new, a new one every other day. And then the, like the Dunker tank came out, and I got a clone of that. So I was able to, and then I got the Pro tank, and I was changing out them coils. Yeah. And then like cheaper RDA started coming out, like the um, the Igo L and the yep. Igo W. So I would yep. start buying them, and then, you know. I, I think how I got into it is because when you show somebody your build or like what you're vaping on so early in it, um, especially in the vape shops, you would almost make fun of like, Jesus Christ, dude, look how you wrap that coil. I mean, like yeah. this one's like, this one's bigger than the other one. Your silica wick, it just doesn't look the same on either side, you know? So dude. It, it came as first just being clean about it. Like right. like an electrician would make the wires look clean and tip. that's the same way as I took it, just make it look clean. And then you go on Instagram, you see people twisting them together. Yeah. You see people, you know, wrapping one around the other one. And they're like, oh, I'll try that too. Let's see if I can make it look this clean. And it came all, I think, out of just basically having a clean build to vape on because vaping back then was also very hard. It wasn't like, um, you know, I throw in a 24 gauge, uh, right seven wrap dual coil into my um whatever tobh and yeah. maybe that screw's not tightened down you know that the rdas were different they just yeah. were different those and igos were all, pretty terrible too yeah yeah but they're <laughs> yeah they were cheap and they were basically just something to stick a you know we drilled out everything, everything. yeah drill out the yeah. post holes drill out the airflow holes yeah that's how it had and to i be. just enjoyed watching people do it i was watching kent's videos squid dude and then trying to get my build as good as these guys trying to trying to do that and then finally when i get there put that picture up but people don't see the struggle that came from that first alien like yeah yeah this yeah. picture you've seen it this second you might think i just built it now but right. i literally been doing this for six weeks right this that represents oh. weeks yeah. of determination yeah. and practice and patience and then i finally got it you know Mm -hmm. got it. And then here comes M Turk with his swivel video. Yeah, the swivel video. M Turk swivel <laughs> just a couple days late. Yeah, yeah. It changed everything. You could have used that swivel video regret, a little earlier. I, re I regret so much about what? that time period because, dude, I had made freehand with no swivel for so long. It's invested hundreds of hours, maybe thousands. Who knows? Just like spinning that shit, ruining my fucking thumbnail. Just gone. Just big old crevices in my hands from holding the wires. And like, we're so invested emotionally in that process. And the swivels came out and me and Squid Dude, oh boy, we just felt like it was fucking cheating. You know, like, oh, right. it's cheating, You're which is old. so dumb. <laughs> in retrospect, it's, it's so dumb to feel that way. Like, yeah. oh, we got new technology. Let's be excited and use it. See what we can do with this. Not if I had just angry. taken, <laughs> yeah, angry, like, oh, things are changing. Get off my lawn. Well, you know? yeah. It's more impressive to do it without swimming, too. I drive yeah, a yeah, manual stick shift car only. Yeah. Automatics. It's, it's so, fuck that. It's more impressive to grow your own tobacco, too. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Right. But, like, is it necessary? <laughs> yeah. no. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get to a couple of these super chats. Uh, Siren X, that's very gracious of you. What up, Grim and friends? First time catching a live stream. Much love. First vape channel I ever watched. Help me get into clouds and off Marlboro Reds. Fuck yeah, Siren X. Appreciate you being here. Congrats on getting off those uh, Marlboro Reds. Did you guys smoke Marlboro Reds back in the day? Sometimes. I was at Newport. I was more of a Newport. Newport? Yeah. I was uh, cool. Cool and Marlboro Smooths. That was for me. I, s I switched it up a lot. I can't imagine. I can't picture you smoking a cigarette, Kent. It's because you never see me smoke one. That's true. I did, everyone, people would make fun of the way I smoked, so it's probably best you didn't see it. Really? <laughs> what, how did you, did you smoke oddly or peculiarly? I've heard about this. This was a big thing back then. Actually, I've heard, go ahead, tell them. Yeah, tell me. 
I don't. Yeah, it's just the way I held it. Like, I guess I held it kind of in a prissy manner or something. I'm like, Ooh. oh, you smoke, you smoke like a girl, cat. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm just getting nicotine. Like, yeah. Me like, oh, I don't care. Maybe you leave me alone. Maybe. Well, I did care though. That's the problem with me. I'm neurotic, so I'm like, oh, okay. How am I gonna change how I'm holding this cigarette? Just so hold it. Just grip it like a, you can your fist. You just yeah. hold it. You fucking put your pinky and power yeah. hit it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that's how you smoke. Uh, Justin Crabtree, yeah. that's very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. There's a fist bump for you. And then there was one more super chat from the brew, the brew. Uh, check out crafted underscore coils underscore Z A. Talented builder from South Africa. Crafted coils Z A. Right on. I'll track there's that some, link down. There's some pretty skilled builders in in South Africa. Pretty skilled like builders there's, in uh, South Africa. Yeah, and I know it's like to call it to make it regional like that is kind of arbitrary since it's all online. Right. But like Germany and South Africa, you know. It's just like there's some per- peculiarly high quality builders there, and I don't know if the South African. I don't know. There was like, see, people come and go, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People come and go. People come so and it's, go. It's hard. People, people. But, call them, we call those people vape tourists. Not even. They're like super into it. Yeah. I mean, you can if you go. get really good at fucking coil building and taking photos. You're Germans no are. They're nasty at coil building. They're very. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, they're perfectionists. They really are. I've Position. literally lost like every build off I was in with German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it sounds it, it, it sounds like stereotypical, but I mean we have the examples. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not saying like only good builders come from Germany, but mm-hmm. the German Some builders who are good are really seen. fucking good. Yeah, like yeah, like Sven, bro, sugar coils, stuff. man. He's mm-hmm. a fucking magician. He's an artist, dude. Like that, I I, I, I'm sorry. He's probably my favorite builder as far as his style. It just does something to my innards, you know. I look yeah. at it and it just like melts my heart. I'm just like, oh my god, it's another, another yeah. level. All right, wait. Who is this guy? We have to let's find this person. Sugar Where coils. Right now? Sugar coils. Sugar. Sugar coils. Yeah. yeah. There's no H in sugar. <sighs> <laughs> sugar nice coils. save. I can't find. He needed uh, that. Let's see. What? Sugar coils. Sugar. You can't find him. Sugar coils. I used to put an H Sven? in sugar when I was a kid. Sven, yeah. That hooker. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's slick as hell. He does. Well, it's just um, go- it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. And it's like a lot of polished flattened stuff yeah that is rad He's... as hell okay scroll down nick to uh, oh my god yeah once Look you get to this one. shit he because he Maybe goes he gets on shot. these tangents right and he'll he'll drive it all the way home Right, and then like <laughs> look at this okay this is like so this, this is, is just insane. this concept this concept you have to scroll down a little bit find that thing yeah, that's what I'm just literally grabbing a screenshot of to show everybody, because that's crazy. Yeah, it's just cool. It's not like a. It's not like I don't I don't know how to describe yeah. it. Yeah. What is that? Flat. It's a. It's a polished alien. So that's, that's fully polished while it's still connected to the swivel. So he he almost got the sides on that one. He doesn't generally get the sides. Is I'll that your cell phone that. noise count? Also, he's got the alien like uh, groove views in there. Like he, he aliened it after he sanded it too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that guy's awesome. Sugar coils. Yeah. Shout out he to won, sugar coils. I, I hope I'm. This is going to sound horrible, but I'm pretty sure he won my last build off. He was definitely up there. I'm pretty sure he was the winner of the last build off. And that, I remember like, how much time he put into that. Mm. Yeah, he was losing. He was losing a lot of sleep on that build off because he's like yeah, he's I mean, going against Tobias. The builds by Italian. It's yeah. You better Look come with your. Thing. I love the way this looks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like twi- twist. This. I believe it's twisted f- forty-four gauge, maybe potentially forty-six. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like. Uh, I three D printed this this wire twisting rig and I had showed it to him. He printed out the same one. So he was, he was getting down with it for a while. And then he, but what's crazy is he did that same build and then he polished it. Oh, so he's like polishing fucking 44 gauge twisted 44 gauge. Well, it should just be a little bit higher than that. It it looked the patterning so cool. And his like his photography 
really, I really, really like his photography. Really yeah. good and precise. That's I've the amazing like part about some of these coin rollers, how good they get at photography. That's a whole other hobby in itself. It's something that I've never really been good at or like wanted to pursue. I guess it just never really stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, you, yeah. you got to show off those coils. You got to take yeah. sick shots of your coils. Yeah. Well, he take. People I mean, really Nick takes good him. shots of his coils for he sure. Does. He does. Like he's yeah, he's, he's ta like playing it down quite a bit. He can take good pictures of his coils. Yeah. But but There's like, like really but yeah. Good, yeah. It, Ken knows what I'm saying. There's like some professional fucking good photographers yeah. now yeah. that are like yeah. It, like, it's just like, like stop coil building. They have it. They have an eye for the lighting, and they're able to construct it in a way that like, it's just it looks. It's art on a different level, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the photography portion is adding to the art of the coil. There, yeah. And like the composition of the photo and everything. I don't know. Some it's hard coil to describe. builders I've seen, like the, their photographs almost look like computer generated. Yeah. That they're so like. It's so real. Look at that. Fake. Yeah. That's a sugar coils banger. I don't know even what I'm looking at. Something polished, right? Because that's polished in the middle. It's a polished staple heel. It's like mine in the top right corner of the screen. Uh -huh. It's kind of oh, the same okay. type of build, only, you know, he polished. Pol he polished, polished the frames before he went, yeah. Dude. And I like that you guys can just deconstruct that so quickly. Just years of experience of building here. Years of experience between you guys. Should we build something? Do you guys want to build something? Yeah. Heck yeah. 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 That's luckily, why you're here, Kent. That's why luck, you're here. Luckily, luckily and Divine is luckily directing and us. Luckily and Divine is here directing us. So I think the plan was we we chatted very, very briefly on Instagram, and Nick Divine had mentioned uh, two core aliens. Yes. So when, aliens. when I'm watching you two do your the alien video, there's a couple things. I mean, Kent's doing a great job yeah, and you're doing really like you're you're doing really good for just starting aliens like really good you you got the idea i understand it you understand what the wire's doing all that there's a just like a couple things that would probably help you get your percentage bigger better on doing your aliens and they're like really little one of them is just the muscle memory the muscle yeah. memory is like key with the angle holding the angle yeah. but with the aliens like you guys were talking about last week with this staple stagger or with the stagger fuse claptons kent was telling you this is the hardest part to prep this is yeah. the hardest part you know so and then the fusing was the easy part with aliens it's a bit different it's you know the easy parts in the beginning and then you have like two things to worry about with your aliens you got three cores that want to make a triangle because yep. three circles Every just want to make a triangle that's just what they want to do and circles going to circle, you know, mm -hmm. and you're trying to keep your angle. So you're literally worrying about two things, not to mention you've hardly done this before. So it's like maybe if there's a way to just learn one of them at a time, two core aliens is that way. OK, so and then you could worry about keeping your three cores together. And was was Nick not using anything to hold his cores together? When he was yeah, I told him not to, dude. That's awesome. I told right. him. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, All right. Yeah. That's that's a good step because, yeah. Because you get good. addicted to that, and it's not necessary for three core aliens. There's some yeah. builds where absolutely I'll use those clips or yeah. something just because mm -hmm. a catastrophic failure in the middle of that would fucking blow my ass, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like hardcore, <laughs> right up the butt. But like. <laughs> 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 English language is so, so crazy. So weird. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, for stuff like I feel like using those obsessively on three core aliens when you're not like a production builder or something, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's 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 just an extra step, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's cool that we I agree on that. I still use them to afraid. this day when, you know, especially when I'm just like sitting here and it's right here and I put it on there. But yeah, you're right. Same thing with the... um. And then you were talking last week about some people tell you this way is the better way, this way is the better way. It, it As long as we get to the same result, it really doesn't matter. I really try to learn every way and try to pick out my, I think everybody should learn every way. The same thing with like stovetop coils. I said they're trash to bake. I think people should still try them. You never mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it may be, I tell you that frailings are my favorite and they're not your favorite. It's as long as we get to the same result and we're, you know. Sure. Are you hip to the to the no stretch alien technique? Have you ever tried the no stretch alien technique? A lot of people I've tried have been trying it, to sell me on that recently. Yeah, 
it's not um, it's not for me because of how many aliens I've done stretch. I okay. would literally be taking you know a step. I'm I would have to relearn aliens. Right. Again. Right. And I've done it a couple times. I know how to do it. I can explain to people how to do it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep stretching my aliens. Yeah, yeah. But I get you. If you learn that first, there is an argument that it would be better if if that was the first thing you learned. I can see how people can say that. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some dual, some double core aliens. Uh, Graham in the chat, N Divine 83 close ups uh, will really help. Tutorial videos are awesome. Good job. Yeah, because you have the Graham. ability to do macro close ups right now, or am I wrong? Yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I can, yeah. I can go close up when I'm wrapping up. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So we're going to do it. some. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. I haven't said much to the chat, but I appreciate you guys being here. I see you there. Dane B, Michelle Lynn's here. Wired Talk with Big G's here. The Brew. We heard from The Brew. Ian, yo, yo, bro. We're about to. We're going to build some uh, two core aliens. So what do we. Lead us through this, uh, Mr. Nick Devine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the three wires that all three of us will be using is. 29 gauge will be just for the decor, just to okay. make the decor for the alien. Okay. 26 gauge is going to be the core. So it's going to be a two core 26 gauge, just like okay. a fuse clap and all it's going to have an alien wrap. Okay. And then 37 is the wrap that we're using for, which you could use whatever you have at home, but we're all using 37 here. 37. <laughs> so first we have to decor. Yeah. So. The very first thing we'll do is oh also uh, maybe make two decors too. Okay. So you know you don't have to switch back and forth. Um, switch back and forth. I mean, switch back. Yeah. So if let's say if you mess up their first alien, you're going to have to take them three cores out of the drill, get the single core back in there, or them two cores out of the drill. I'm sorry, the two cores out of the drill. Get the single core in there, clap in it, take the single core. You know, it's, right, right. So, okay, oh, I get you. Oh, and in coil building, you should have a good excuse in case you mess up. Just put it like, my ferret died last night, you know? Just yeah, in case and, things and, go wrong. Look, yeah. All right, and Nick Devine, Nick is always complaining about wasting wire. What's your opinion on that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's complaining about it. I just feel listen <laughs> aware of it. Like, I don't want, it's not something I want to do. I don't want to waste wire. Listen. Kensol sent me this big box of wire, right? If I throw out a whole build, it won't leave a fucking dent, dude. No, this is how, <laughs> <laughs> this is how the, I literally will break it down to you just math wise. It's literally like each time the biggest coil is like 60 cents a wire. Okay. So if you just take it, if you just, just do the math, 500 feet is around 20 bucks. So 250 feet is around 10 bucks and if you just keep going so on and so on you're literally going to be you're going to say 60 cents now for all people this <laughs> it, this isn't good i mean i understand that not everybody wants to be throwing out wire all the time but right. it is just part of the you know it's just part of the the hobby really if you think about it your coils are already way cheaper than buying them online mm -hmm. right and your cost goes down over time as you waste less and less wire but the beginning even though you're wasting that wire, it's still way cheaper than buying a pre-made from someone who's wasted all the wire to get to the point to where they can sell it, you know? Yeah. Look. Yeah, so don't, I'm just trying to Also, save. at a certain point, time is money too, and you gotta also think about that. How much time am I spending trying to save this wire? Instead right, of just, right, you know? that's true. I yeah. Would feel, and the, I would, yeah. What I picture happening, and this is something that I just picture happening, I don't think it would happen, but, I'm like practicing waste wire, aliens waste, kids Clapton's waste, and then when I'm finally getting it, it's like, oh, you're out of wire. I feel like that's what would happen. Right, and then, yeah, but I mean, you literally would just text me, hey, can't run away. <laughs> I'd be yeah. like, oh, okay. I'm out of wire. No worries. Yeah, I have a lot of it. I'll probably, yeah, I have enough. I threw away Don't say that. so much wire last year. So it was garbage. The, I had to throw it away. The, right before you sent that box to the resistance crew, um, mm -hmm. two builders were like, you know, I'm done cool with building. 
and they like sold me these two big box. Like I got these two big boxes of just like all their wire. The one was like a huge box, humongous box for like 200 bucks. And it was just like a, a regular moving box, just fucking filled with wire, all different kinds too. Twisted, everything, any brand. Lucked out. So I literally have so much wire, especially since I didn't build as much last year. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put 37 gauge on this and then decor it, right? That's the plan? Oh, 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 29, 29 on the thing. Yeah, 29 here. Yes. 37 mm -hmm. over yep. for the first D4. Yeah. I'll do two Just make sure first. your drill's going in the correct direction. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. Remember what, so what are you going now? You're going in forward? I'm going uh, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise? Okay. I yeah, I because I kind of want my aliens, I like it better when they're going over the top than underneath. Yeah. So I just did my decor reverse. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but it would be good if you just keep doing it that way. Because your, your you. eyes are also seeing the same thing over and over again. I saw that happen, Kent. <laughs> yeah, I, I always do this with my drill. I'm not used to using the drill. That's my excuse. I always put too much tension when I tighten it, and then it, bre it breaks off in the chuck. Yeah. It's depressing, because we're live, you know? Yeah. It's embarrassing, really. It's really embarrassing. I know. And and we never finished the story. You asked how I, I heard about End Divine. Oh, yeah. How did you hear about End Divine? I actually, I didn't really know much about it. I had, like, lost real touch with the build community as far as, like, besides, like, there's a lot of builders that I didn't really, you weren't really uh, find with. out about. No, I didn't even, like, really know about, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't know what was going on in, like, the tutorials and stuff. I didn't realize that there was people still doing that you know right and so like uh it was the resistance crew i can't remember how i fucking it was a big d coils in there yes big g coils so big d? i think i know how um the braids were blue braids were blue was um a thing that the resistance crew did where we oh. did like a we, we did like, uh, um, we sold braided coils for a little boy blue who was sick and uh, right. his family needed money for the, what you call it. So we did a, a fundraiser. We did like a live 24 hour stream where we just braided coils and then sold the coils to oh, raise money. Cool. And I believe that the idea, uh, oh, it might be Corey coils too. Corey coils 414. That's, uh, that's all. So I think the idea was just to use Twisted Messes stuff for the prizes, like for uh, RDAs and stuff. And I believe it was because you were having a sale or something. So I guess they talked to you because let's just yeah, put it just, after that is when we got these posters from you. Yeah, I just donated it. Right, so every once in a while I would have energy. There you go. Right? Yeah. Every once I would in have, a while. Yeah, because usually I was just fucking drained, you know? Yeah. But like every once in a while I'd get motivated. I'm like, dude, I want to do something cool for these builders because I fucking love builders, you know, and like, and so there was that, yeah, the boy blue and I donated some stuff for that. Um, and then I, I have that large format printer upstairs and I can't, I think I just hit him up and was like, Hey, do you guys want resistance crew posters? Yeah. And, uh, and then they put it all together and did the whole layout with all their builds. And then I just printed out and sent it to him. Yeah. You're, good, you're a good coach. You're a good team captain, Kent. Good I'm not team the team captain. captain. Was, yeah, well, you were the team and, captain. Yeah, and then I had another burst of energy, and I was like, fuck, I want to send the resistance crew. I already did that. Why don't I send them all my wires? And so I wanted to send them like a Christmas present or something. And so that was before the coronavirus outbreak. And yeah, and I just there's like 22 people on our team. I'll be honest, I regretted it a little bit when I realized how many people were on the team. <laughs> and yeah. then a lot of them were inter international, and I'm like, oh, fuck. International shipping yeah. on, like, 25 spools of wire. But, you know, I'm Ain't a man cheap. of my word. <laughs> and I I'm glad I did, too. Yeah. And here comes Nick Devine from the stream going, about it. I had too much wire already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks oh, dude, for the wire, Kent, but I had a ton of it already. Dude, you don't live in fucking, you know, 
yeah. Uzbekistan or wherever, it was no problem. <laughs> Let me you know? do a couple of these super chats. Johnny Deathhead, appreciate that, bro. Uh, hey, you guys. Fucking <laughs> cheers, mates. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you, Johnny Deathhead. Thanks for coming out, man. We're just going to get into some building now. Uh, there was one more in here that I missed. Where did you go? <laughs> Home Chaser Coils. There you are, bro. Uh, he says, I said it in chat. That people should know. Wasted wire at the start and is, is an investment to the future. Don't give up and keep trying. Yes, all your wasted wire represents future successes. I think that's a pretty good way to look at it. I would yeah. say that I don't waste as much wire now as yeah. I used to. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I'll yeah. waste like what you guys been doing last week, just the decor off of this. Yeah, it's... I get you. All right, well, we're going to do some uh, decoring. So I'm going to turn our guests down a little bit while their drills cool. go bananas. Good. They're just muted right now. Completely muted. I could say anything. They can't respond. It's great. It's a good way to live. So I'm going to uh, put some 29 gauge. Nope. I'm going to put some 37 gauge on this to make. I'm going to make two decors so that we have plenty for uh, for aliens. And really, all I'm trying to get out of today is a single coil. That's usually what I'm trying to do. I got a little Hadley that I want to put a single coil in to squonk. That's the mission today, you guys. That's the mission. All right, I'm going to mute myself. Thank you for hanging out, guys. It louder so people can hear him. Your you volume's up. You make... What? Oh, is my volume good right now? Yeah, you're good. Okay. He's Sorry. been he's been talking. Sorry. Uh, you're good to go. Um. So when I take this off, I loose. I went in reverse. I like doing all my clappings in the forward and the aliens in reverse. It doesn't matter which way you do them, but that's just how I hold. Always open up. So then I'll put my drill in reverse and loosen it. And I thought it was interesting what Kent said to one alien show, how this will actually go to the other side when it's loosened, which makes a lot of sense. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. But what happens when you reverse this is it loosens up literally from the swivel back to the drill. You could actually just do a little bit at a time and feel that this would be tight and this is loose. So when it's loose here, it's loose the whole way. 
It's literally, uh, it's loosening up from back here all the way back to the drill and putting right. it in reverse. So as long as you can move this here, you're good. general rule for like uh, D cords, like how much you would need per coil, mm -hmm. is around seven inches. So each coil you need seven inches of this D cord. Give or take, but seven is what I do, so I'll make like a 14 inch one, and I have enough for two coils. Or I'll do, like I told Grim Green, make a, make a little extra. Like I'll do 21 inches, so I have three sevens, so in case I mess one up, I got an extra one yeah. right there. Especially when you're live and stuff, that's like, a uh, little trick to do if you're building live. Just make a deep course before the show if you can. Yeah, I always... I think about doing that, but then I think... I'll just do it live. Like It's a little different, like, yeah. From beginning to end. Live, yeah. right? it's, it's a little different when you're... But, yeah, when... If you... Yeah, when I do them for so long, I'm sure people are sick of seeing that. Yep. <laughs> Thousand videos, maybe after, you know, 800, we can... Start doing the start decors doing your off decors ahead of time. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. start doing that. You know, mm -hmm. I just there's a big part of me that likes as a viewer. I kind of like to see it from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm gonna do another decor real quick. What I should do. I just wanna have enough. I just want to have enough. All right. Well, if you guys get your drills going, it, I'm going to leave it to you to mute yourself. Yeah, yeah. So I'm done. Mute. You want to hear qu how quiet this is, though? Listen, I do. Listen, that's great. Okay. My microphone, I just moved it a little away, but it was literally, it's like a foot away from the drill right now. And that's probably going about two times faster than, like, these drills, like the ones that we got on my other. Oh, album. okay. Well, it's a wood yeah, lathe. Yeah, you don't have to. He's lathing it. You don't have to uh, mute he's him. Look at that. It. Look at that thing, Grim Green. It's got See a wooden encasement. Oh yeah. And I could stop it with a remote too, which is pretty cool. Oh. Me and Kent yeah. just using green Ryobi drills. Yeah, we're getting down. Well, Trip, like, yeah. what I like about yeah. this though, Nick, because or Grim Green. Or whichever one of you wants to pay attention to what I'm saying. I don't care, actually, well, both at this point. You don't have if, as long as someone's listening to me talk, it doesn't matter, yeah, right? Yeah, we're all listening. So, like, Everybody live is listening to you as well. This this is like people watching your stream, a lot of them, if they were to start building, they're not going to go to like the crazy setup I have back there off camera. Right, you know? right. This is accessible. Drill, yeah. And, yeah. Drill, and so, clam swivels. But it's like, it's also... Once you're used to using the lathe and stuff, it's kind of hard. Like that's why I'm having I have trouble with this, to be 100% honest with you. I haven't learned this lathe yet. Like doing aliens on there is a very um, is is actually hard for me to do it at that speed, just because I'm just so used to the speed of my one drill. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's people that just do. I mean, that's tip, basically what M Turk does. Is he just has a really fast drill, but it's pretty much the same speed. Quick I'm gonna do another decor. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. Yeah, I just I just made a long one, so I don't have to make two. This should be me enough. Two, because it, I mean, a two core alien. Oh, I guess it doesn't necessarily use less wire huh, than a three core because it's thicker. Since it's twenty six, like we would, it this would technically be three twenty nines. If we were yeah. making an alien out of it, so yeah. 226, it might take the same amount to make. Yeah, uh, you'll get more out of your D core with a two core, I believe. 
even though it's thicker. It's around the same. I mean, it's still a three to one ratio that you're using. Right. That's why we, we are decorn 20, decorn okay. 29 to get onto. So is that like a rule that you can jump down? Was that three? Yeah. Three? So, yeah. The, the alien is a three to one ratio. It's, you know, every, right. you need one D core for every three cores. All right. So then, I mean, like, if you were literally to do a six core, you could literally jump up six gauges and get your. So if you want to do a six core 30 gauge, a three core 30 gauge would be with 30. So a six core 30 gauge would be with, uh, 20 with uh, 24 that's the thickness now the the height of it it changes it a little bit the height of it does change it because 30 is just not as thick as 24 and you did decor off of 24. Right. so i like to jump i like to do one down that's why we're doing 29 for 26 gauge cores crazy that that works dude because the yeah. the the wire gauge i mean that's a useless number that's just a industry standard has nothing to do with like yeah. how many times bigger the wire is so that's crazy that, yeah. that to me that that works right that fucking yeah. works because i went i went ham on that i didn't i don't use that even though that is a cool rule okay so basically you're three it gets your, you're yeah, it's definitely not an exact thing but it gets right. you there it'll get you there so you can like it, sometimes you'll you'll do this six four 30 gauge with the 24 gauge decor and you'll see it's a little too bad yeah, i gotta cut it down to 25 or something i gotta I gotta bring it down right but that's where those weird gauges come in super handy is when you're trying to make aliens over something that's not a three core yep. alien because yep. you can get really exact on your decor size yeah you guys are talking a whole other language that i'm just, it's like it's like listening to someone speak a different language where you understand just a few of the words <laughs> that's what it's like how i speak spanish i, yeah. I can talk to the guys at work you know tell them it's that's hot out it sounds like that's kind of what it's you can you can avoid a fight after slapping someone in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Most important. Uh, okay, let's see. I had a few more super chats come in here. Um, the coil company in South Africa closed down. Sadly, hit our, oh. our lockdown. Hit it hard. That's really unfortunate. Um, the brew is also demanding that we do ten push-ups. Do you guys want to do push-ups? That's deload week, dude. I'm not about to do push-ups. I can okay. do push-ups. I'm gonna go. I'm you want gonna me to do, move? Let's do ten. You want me to move my camera and do ten push-ups? No, just pop on the ground and do some. Okay, dude, I'll move my whole camera, man. We're going hard right move. now. <laughs> Can't you don't? Need Are to you move gonna move your camera? No. Okay, then I'm not either. Fuck I'm you. I'm not. I got this, buddy. Ten push-ups for the brew. <laughs> Anybody can One. join in on this. <laughs> Two. <gasps> Three? <gasps> we gotta show them? Here we, go. we gotta show them? Oh my god, they're actually showing you this? Oh, we gotta warm god. up. <sighs> well, I guess this is what we're doing now. <sighs> Who was this? Who was this? Man. Oh, I'm already done. Oh, you guys are just starting? Ken's doing some pretty good push-ups. You guys are doing some good push-ups. Was I just really fast or did I just start early? Ken's push-ups look really good. No more requests, damn it. No more requests. Too, I end up doing push-ups on every stream shit. now. It's just a thing that happens. Just That was fun. Well done, you guys. Good push-ups. <sighs> Thank you, Brew. Appreciate the appreciate the push-ups. <laughs> Uh, Ohm Chaser Coils, uh, I said in chat, people should know, yeah, Wasted Wire is an investment in the future. Uh, the Brew says, a bit of a downer, uh, lost both my fathers in three months. Fuck 2020, 21, miss you dads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Brew. I'm so sorry for your loss, bro. I love you, man. Uh, Kevin K, how you doing, bro? D Dwayne told me to give you guys uh auction on coiling lessons to help me with my struggles just pass it along oh so we get to auction it doesn't seem like a very good deal kevin k <laughs> doesn't seem like uh the brew impossible build off between two legend builders let's go yeah we're building the really exciting aliens today but you know it's to help my skill level. They don't need help with their skill level. I need help with my skill level. 
And so uh, I, I appreciate the I appreciate their time in helping me. Um, I've never made it to Core Alien. It's the first you, time. You never have either? All right. Well, this is the first thing for both of us. That's cool. Siren X, uh, missed my last super chat, lol. It's okay, though. I was wondering about some wicking tips for my Blotto RTA. Just having a couple wicking issues. Oh, with the Blotto. Oh, that's right. Any play. recommendations? Wicking issues. Um, I, I, without having your RDA or your RTA in front of me, are, are you leaking? Is it is it not wicking enough? Um, I did a build stream not too long ago with the Blotto RTA and wicked it pretty perfectly. I'm not saying you have to dig back through that video to find it, but that would be the most recent time that I've wicked the Blotto RTA. Uh, Mue! I'm finally here. Uh, got out late thanks to a work promotion. Congratulations, bro. Watching this with excitement. Uh, got some uh, 2834 Nichrome 80 suggestions for best beginner coils. Best beginner coils. Fuse Clapton. Best. I don't know. That's what I would say. Yeah, Fuse Clapton would be. I mean, if you want to go with Clapton first and start off small, uh, it's actually, you know, it's, Fuse Clapton might be easier though. Fuse Clapton? They are, because they don't they're not loose on the core. Yeah. 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 You could actually decore a clapton pretty easily with the dual cores. Dual cores. Possible. Yeah. Fuse Claptons. I appreciate Fuse that, Mua. Congrats on your promotion, bro. Tom L, uh, make sure this gets to Kent. Mainly Shit. push ups related. <laughs> uh -oh. Make sure, oh, okay. That five bucks is for you. I'm supposed to give you five bucks. Oh, because I did the best push-ups on the stream? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I didn't know this was going to be fun. Because you did the best push-ups on the stream. Dude, bro, it's always a competition. <laughs> bro, always if you were the two other guys doing push-ups, well, why else would you be doing them? Come on, it's a competition. I was trying to show the best way not to do them. Okay, so I'm just going to do one decor. <laughs> I'm just going to do one decor. I'm just going to oh, do you one haven't decor. Made, you haven't made your decor yet? I have one. Yeah, I have one. Oh. I'm going to do one decor. I wonder how much street right. cred I would have lost if I would have did them on my knees. <laughs> hey, where, whatever you need to do to do push-ups. Yeah. yeah, dude, this isn't a competition, man. Yeah, it's not a competition. <laughs> that is what coil building is, though. It is literally a pissing contest that's just friendly. Yeah, it is. is. It's a friendly pissing contest. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to stretch my decor, and this is the hardest part for me to do correctly. Wait, did you attach it to your... Oh, yeah, you attached it. Well, what? just go ahead. I think it'll be fine. Because if you... Yeah, if you fuck it up here, you can just redo it. Yeah. You didn't stretch your decor, Kent? Well, no, I'm attaching it to my drill first. Oh, yeah. Because... Well, your drill's clamped now. You could probably do it the same way. The only You're reason right. you had your swivel thing before is because that was your only thing clamped to the desk. You got a clamp now. It's all right, so I need 26 gauge for the cores now, right? Yes, 226. Yeah. 226 is cores. Okay. Huh. We've drifted into the soft porn music again. I'm actually kind of hard right now. Yeah, I'm a little bit engorged. <laughs> I had this surgery, so I just got half chub 24 hours a day now, so. <laughs> Jump 24 7. I don't know why I got that book, but I had this like sexual dysfunction book when I was like way younger. Uh -huh. Or else either I had it or I read it somewhere, I don't know, but I, I read the whole thing and yeah, there's some crazy penis and like technologies available for if you lose function. Penis technologies? I've seen you one that's like a pump. Yeah. It's like an it's autumn it's, it's it's no it's it's battery powered, dude. It's and it's hidden in your testicles. It's a little a little button that you click and it makes your penis erect. And you click it again, it deflates it. Straight up, bro. That feels yeah. like cheating. Why don't they just do it the old school way, Kent? Uh, because they're, if, I mean, if you fucking have the money to make, just giving to have a robotic dick, I mean, you're gonna do it. <laughs> if that's an option, they're like, all right, you get the robot dick for 80,000. Or you can have this hand pump for $15. They're like, uh, robot dick, thank uh, you. Robot dick, please. Yes, thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. I probably just live with it. I just don't trust doctors enough around <laughs> any area. It's only a, it's only a penis, dude. It's a penis. It's true. It's, you know, don't it's worry just, about it. Don't worry about it. YOLO. Okay. <laughs> it's only a I'm gonna put this in the chuck. <laughs> pull it tight, I guess. Makes sense. So I noticed on this, uh, Mr. Divine, that my, like with a fuse clapped in, there's always like a little bit of a opening and my two wires on the swivel side, which I don't worry about with a fuse clapped in because it tightens it so well. With this, I got a little nervous and I wrapped some wire around there and pinched it. Is that unnecessary? Oh, he's fr definitely frozen. All kinds. I'm of like, frozen. he's really thinking about he's that. He's really concerned about this question. Um, that's fine. Bye. Uh, Just gone. Look at that. Gonzo. It's all right. He'll be back. So he has to call back in. Uh, he can just click the link again. It should pop him right back in. He should appear right where he was. Dude, if I ever get another power outage during one of these, I'm gonna think there's something up with the with the electrical company. It's that was so weird. They don't want us building. They didn't want you to build that stagger. Stagger. Staggered. Fuse clapped. This is an alien, and yes. <sighs> Okay, so what were you saying about the wire at the... Well, your wire's so long, it probably doesn't matter. Because you got a lot of seatbelt going, so you're good. I do. More seatbelt. More seatbelt. Yeah, so you're fine. Because wh what I have, I have a real short single coil wire. And so, you know how where it connects to the swivel, there's a little gap? Right. Where the swivel push pushes it out? Yeah. So, like, mine's so short that that gap was making a, a really long skinny V shape all the way down to my swivel truck, uh, down to my drill truck. So I was worried that it wasn't gonna pull tension, but I don't think that you're in that situation because yours is so long, you're probably fine. That's, that's what I'm hoping. I'm yeah, hoping I think you'll be okay. Well, see, now we don't know what to do. Where did Nick go? Yeah. He was all excited about being on the stream and then just pieces out. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Nick. I'm just kidding. I, I don't even know how to stretch this. I don't know. I just kind of stretched it. Let me just give it a shot. If I mess it up, because you okay. only have one decor. I got another one here, right? Don't have yeah. to mute me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go fast. Okay, then I won't mute you. Hope he clicks that link Ugh. again. I wonder if his power went out. How trippy would that be if his power went out? That would be really trippy. Power, right, I'm getting yeah, it could be rolling blackouts. All right, get going there, Ken. I'm getting mohawk. Okay, I, I fixed it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is fun. Are you already oh, putting the aliens on? Yeah, yeah. You're going to get this first try, though. First try? So, <laughs> he did. I know. Nick lost power because of all the dick talk. We were talking about robot dicks. And NSA was yeah. like, nope. Shut up, guys. Shut, Shut up. up. That's our se secret robot dick That's procedure. <laughs> the general public's guys, not supposed to know. You guys aren't supposed to know about that. Damn, dude, two core aliens are so much easier than three cores. Oh, oh Nick's power went off. We can confirm that Nick's power is off. Power outage, I know. Nick's power went out. We have official word now. Rick Martin saying that Nick's power went out. That's okay. If Your show Nick is cursed. Back, it is cursed, isn't it? Dude, that's cursed? fucking weird. I don't know what to do now without Nick Divine here now. I'm, I'm freezing up. Well, he put us... Did you get your 26 gig in there? Yeah, I got a 26 gig in there. Do we want to give it 10 minutes? Or do you want to just try it? Cause, well, I think you should try it. I'm, I'm just going to try, try it. I'm just going to try it. i anyway. Here, I'm just gonna but like a, effect. yeah, just put your put your decor on there and then just sort of give it a stretch. Oh my god, this 37 is so buttery. I hope you have the same stuff that I'm using. So buttery? Oh yeah. Did you say buttery? Yeah, yeah. This gets my robot dick going big time. This gets your robot dick going. This is the one. 
I'm just tempting this? the gods to turn my power off. Oh, well, I missed a can. Where's Kent? Oh, there he is. Still waiting on Nick. It's all right. Yeah. Wow, you can really just let these fucking fly open. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Is that just going on so buttery, Kent? Dude. This is a beautiful day. Two core aliens. I had no idea how easy it Hey, there he is. I might just take two core aliens to the left. So you can get. Is this famous last words and begin with what in heaven? Shit. Yeah, I don't know. You don't have to worry about it. Listen, he's right. This is just practicing your angle. You know? This is just what? Practicing your angle. Oh, you there he is. The angle this man. Oh, can't. I'm sorry, can't. <laughs> I kicked Kent off. <laughs> Shit, it's okay. Uh, here, Nick. Nick's back. What's up, Nick? Welcome back. Oh, all right. I'll wait until Kent gets back to tell you what just happened. I might have to fix my camera because the OBS. I literally just lost power, which never happens at all here. It's it, like, the it thing. is so rare. I think power. this stream might be cursed. Hey, there's Kent. All right, we got Kent back. It is we, literally yeah. so rare to lose power. We believe hey, right this where I live, it's so so rare, and it just literally thunder and lightning went out, and I guess the backup went on or whatever. Yeah, that's so weird. I didn't even have there was it was a clear day when it happened to me. There wasn't even a cloud in the sky. Mm. So I've successfully made a two core alien. I haven't. It's way easier, right? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah I had no idea so, how much easier it is. Yeah. I'm gonna stretch this now. I haven't even did stretched you, my core. Did you already try one, Grim Green? I haven't tried or... one. I haven't stretched okay, my core. Cool, cool. I felt right. as soon as you left, I felt like panicked. Like I don't know what to do. I need an adult. Where's Nick Devine? No, so... definitely take your time and don't put all the pressure on the build on yourself. It's really, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna stretch this wire. I think you're going to though. I'm gonna stretch. Yeah, this I'm pretty, pretty sure you fucking got this. Especially if you made a couple decors. I only made one. Hey, he only made one, but that's fine. I think it'll be good. But Kent, yeah. when Kent was doing it, he made it look so easy. He's like, oh, this is just going to... Like, I don't even have to touch yeah. the drill or anything. It is literally having to only think about one thing instead of two. That's, yeah. that's literally why it's so easy. Yeah. Someone yeah. was telling You're... me uh, to get the alien wire to kind of glide through your fingers better, you could use some e-liquid just yes. in your fingers so that it just kind of glides through. And I thought, damn, that's a great idea. Should so, I okay. try that? Is that a thing? It, it's, it's not a bad idea at all. So there's something that happens with the alien that I don't think a lot of people know when they're turning this drill. When you're turning the alien and it's wrapping around here, there's a tension that's happening that's actually spinning the alien behind you. It is actually turning behind you. So you don't want to put too much pressure on that because then you're, you're going to have like binding in here uh, in between the wire and your fingers. So having it slide through your fingers is great. Now the thing is, is you gotta get your stretch good to do this. Because if your stretch isn't stretched enough or you need to stretch it more, then all you do is you put more pressure on it and then you actually need your fingers to be pulling on it instead of it slipping ah. through. So your stretch, to, it has to be pretty damn close in order to have this, this wire slip through there. But it is a good tip. I mean, it is definitely something that would work and it's a good idea. Bro, that makes so much fucking try. sense. Yeah, imagine like your wire, the decor is corkscrewing as you're putting it on, mm -hmm. right? And so what he's saying is you keep the corkscrew behind where that back the, that back wire. If you if you let the corkscrew go onto the wire, you'll end up with all those twisted cores and shit towards the end because yes. it's putting that pressure in there. So you let the pressure go back behind the tails, swing it around, and then your tension's not in the wire itself. That makes so much sense. I never even fucking considered that. Does that make sense to you? I'm still not even sure I follow what you just said. I thought I had what okay. you said it, and then you went said something completely different. You're like, same thing, right? Like, he uh. said, he, yeah, he's <laughs> saying the same thing, and but it's yeah, it's it's a little hard to explain, but it would be good if you get him to slide through there. Sometimes, especially yeah. with beginners, it might not be it might not be there for you yet, but it is a good a good thing to try to get to his work. And, and do you think? 
Do you think it has to do with clammy hands? Because some people have moister yeah. hands than others. Because mine are yeah. dry as shit. I yeah, always crack dry right. hands, so it just slides through. It doesn't get stuck ever. Yeah, dry and hands I have is clammy hands. Better, so. Yeah. Yeah. My, so, but do you? I think Nick has or Grim Green has kind of wet hands a little bit. I do. Yeah, they do get moist. They do get. I'm moist. like, yeah, like I know. Yeah, his hands are. They get clammy, moist. moist and like, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough Grim tell. Green videos to know. Like, yeah. I got some clammy ass hands. And my aliens, <laughs> like, my last alien started when my hands were dry and I could feel it, like pulling through my fingers. That you know, that sensory feeling. And I could feel him getting sweatier and sweatier. And oh. then it started like lurching through my fingers instead of going smoothly. Yeah. Lube him up, dude. I'm gonna lube it up. Hang on, let me stretch this wire first. Because I still haven't done that. And this is hard. Yeah, these two cores are way forgiving, so I wouldn't trip on it too bad. And then a an, uh, thing I could mention to you about the stretching part. So the alien tutorial that I actually have online I actually cut like the, the I forget the exact measurement that I do it to, but it's like 14 inch decor. And I tell you like how many feet you have to stretch that. Like oh. now stretch that out nine feet and that will work. Oh, that's smart. This is, that's just what works for me. It's if I do 14 inches, it, stretch right? it. Yeah. Instead of doing the guessing game. Now there is a, I can tell you how I stretch it. Um, without yeah, it that's fine. Yeah. And I believe this is something that I learned off of. Probably the M Turk video, M Turk Alien, I think. So, I'll take the decor. Now, I just clamp it to my table. I have like a little clamp here. I clamp the end to my table. And then I will take this end. And I'll stretch it. And there's, there's a feeling that you're gonna get where the wire is actually like I'm going to stretch and it's going to, it's going to want to stop. It's starting to give me some resistance, right? And yeah. once it gives me that little bit of resistance, it just, it feels like a feeling change. All of a sudden, you know, the, the wires get tough with me. So I'm like, all right, stop. And then I'll just lean it to it to stretch it a little, little more. And that's all a I little need. bit more. Yeah. yeah. That works for now, me almost every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that feeling. It says, all right, hold up motherfucker. And then it just, stretch a little more just a little bit more and if you just go too little, far a little you over stretch it like that's yeah. what's that's what's so fucked up about that method is that like it's a pretty it's still pretty exact you know like it, you have you like you don't, yeah you don't have like a huge room for error once you hit the, the physical stress of the wire and then you pull it a little bit more yeah yeah that yeah uh, the stri was, aliens are rough, man, and they are a build that everybody wants to learn. It's a good build for everybody to learn, so if everybody could start making their own aliens, it's a, it's a great thing. But yeah, they, they're they're difficult. There's a lot of things that go into them. They really are, and you can. I feel like this is the case with all coil builds, but I feel like at any point it can go sideways on you. No, like no matter how much work you've put in, whether you're at the beginning, it can go sideways. At step 10 of 12, it can go sideways. And yeah. sometimes there's no backing out of it. And you're just committed to this mistake. Yeah. It's a it's a relaxing hobby until it hits that point where your adrenaline spikes. And then, <laughs> yep. It's a relaxing hobby. And until... You realize your dreams could just disintegrate yeah. in front of All you. Of your <laughs> sometimes a part of patience is just stepping away from a little bit, too. Yeah, that's true. Removing yourself from the situation sometimes. I hope, I'm yeah. really hoping the stretch is okay. I think it'll be okay. Well, you can adjust it as long as you didn't overstretch, you're all good. You know? Yeah. See, last okay. time I'm pretty sure I overstretched. Another tip I'm going to have too Ooh. is, and I think Kent might have been trying to tell you this. The fur, I hold this pretty far from the drill. All right. And there's sure. a reason I hold the alien pretty far from the drill. Is because if I hold it here and I try to make a slight adjustment, it's actually a dramatic adjustment. If I do that just a little bit here, the same movement, it's just a little, it's a little uh, movement. It's not as big as if my fingers are here. So when you make just a little change and your fingers are here, you're actually making a dramatic angle. Okay. But if you're back here, you have more time to react little, to what yeah, you're seeing. Give some and it's a, it's really just a one rap at a time thing. It just you know it goes quicker than that, luckily. But it is kind of yeah. just a one rap at a time. Yeah, so yeah, hold it farther away. Yeah, 
because you can you still feel the stretch and everything and that way if you accidentally overcorrect it's not catastrophic because you you haven't really changed the angle that much and then you can just kind of zoom it back in a little bit like you just get a lot more control yeah i think you're good dog that's not going on there right is it i think you're understretched a little bit yeah, Maybe I feel like I'm on oh, is it? Yeah, I think a little bit. It's not by much. Oh, it's catching? Yeah, I think it's making a... a little mohawk? Yeah, a it looks bit. like it felt like it was making a little mohawk. Yeah, it, it looks like that might be what it's doing. And this is how, like, the original mohawks were made, too. It's just a two-core that... Understretched decor? Yeah. All right, let me stretch it a little oh, bit. Oh, two-core. That makes sense to use a two-core for mohawk, because... Yeah. It's easier to get the twist out. Right. Or can you can make a mohawk? Oh, you can't make a mohawk with three cores. You can, yeah, you can. Okay. But you could also do with two cores depending on what you're decoring off of and everything. It seems like with a two core, it would actually just it would just be a lot easier. It seems like the math mm -hmm. works out for three three circles around two. I'm pretty sure it's almost that like this decor will do either an alien or a mohawk. Depending on how you stretch it. Yeah. Yeah, I've never made a mohawk either. I don't think. I think it's because they, they don't vape good, and I'm just like. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool. I, That's pretty much I'm all dis get out. I'm discriminator. I still, I can't help it. Old habits die hard. Stretched it some more. See how this goes. And Kent, you're already done? I finished the first one. I'm going to do a second one. Yeah, I'm going to try to get you. Uh, to get you to be bigger. Yeah, buddy. Let's put you over Kent. Yeah, we don't need me. <laughs> Just put him over both of us. Yeah, see, his looks better. Right now, mine's doing the same thing that yours is doing. Oh, okay. It's, oh, that makes me feel a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Mine did at the beginning, thing, So I just got to adjust it. That's my own. What I did was, mine was doing the same thing, and I just pulled a little harder. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, put more pressure with my fingers. Yeah. So, so if you added e-liquid, you could do the same thing. Or you already just stretched it a little bit more, right? I stretched it a little bit more. Let's see. All right. Yeah, usually I'll just pull more tension back on it or just stretch it again a little bit. I can change my battery. Oh, that could be going on. Yeah, I think you're good and like, you just gotta focus on the angle, nothing else, so. Yeah. It should be golden. Oh shit. I'm always scared to go fast. Nope, see, I fucked up. Don't worry about it. Just pull it at your angle forward a bit so you can get past the fuck up. I'm trying. And to just continue on. You're trying to what? Nothing. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. 
Nope. What? How does that happen? What happened? I don't know. Did it? Is it sticking know. up or is it overstretched? I can't. I cannot see. When you rub your fingers over it, does it feel like a contu a protrusion? Mm -mm. It looks like a gap. Okay. Yeah. It looks like okay, a gap. Okay, so it looks as though. Do you feel like you're still pulling tension on it when the alien's going around? Like you're, you're kind of clamping down on your finger and your thumb a little bit? I'm just trying to keep. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of pressure, but I'm just trying to keep it consistent. Yeah. That... Did you try the lube? Yeah, dude, my fingers are all lubed up with e-liquid, like crazy. Like crazy. I'm gonna watch you do it. I'm gonna see what happens. It's understretched. It's understretched still. You, think you guys stretch a little still? more. Yep. Understretch. Oh, understretch. So you, you guys right, stretch it just a little bit more again, and you might have to do this even again. Just a little bit. Of, you could always. It's just like you know, a I'm a carpenter by trade. Yeah, right. you can't you can't add wood to a piece. Cut it big, and then we can take a little more off later. I get you. So you can't unstretch that, but you can stretch it more. So it's a good spot to be in. It's gonna happen. Stretch it some more. Do some more stretching. Yeah. Oh yeah, Nick just went straight off camera. He's done. He's done. They're just gonna be waiting for me now. Straight off camera. Damn. Old Grim just takes me a little bit longer, you know. It's fine. It takes practice, man. I, wonder if you're gonna I know, I know. A little practice session. The yesterday. problem is, you know. Yeah. Fuck it, I got enough for another coil. We're calling it a day for me. I think you should just take another leap of faith, Doug. I think that's what we're dealing with. I can't. I think you're. Like to go. you're I think you just mean? you're hyper focused on that one fuck up part. I Dude, just can't. I think I overstretched it now. Yeah, maybe it was overstretched instead of understretched. You know, because what can happen too is like if your pr tension on the decor gets too tight, yeah, then it's going to be stre stretching it between your drill and your hand. Like while, yeah, yeah while it's going on. Yeah, it's I pulling it, and if you're pulling too hard, then it can stretch that bit, not... and so sometimes you just have to get through that stretch. Cause yeah, now it's. Is it working now? No, there's one What's section your... of threat of wire. I just think it's too stretched. I was muted, and I, I was. He yeah, bring your angle back to the drill a little bit, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Look. Okay, it's and now gravity. pull your hand back a little bit more towards your stomach. See, I can see where the bad. Look how terrible this is. It seems like your angle's too far forward, yeah. Yeah. Bring it back too to far the drill. forward. Let me. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it like even or a little bit ahead of it, like you told me, Kent. Just yeah, a little ahead. Of... Yeah, you definitely want it ahead. Just a little ahead. It... Yeah. But if you're seeing like it gap like that, yeah. If you're seeing if you're seeing it gap, what you want to pull the angle back closer toward you slowly until the gap closes. So as you pull it, the angle back the other way towards the drill, you should see it getting closer together each time. Yeah. Oh. Shit. And then once it's. 
I had a few good turns there. I'm gonna try to get like the same. Damn. I feel. I feel like you this must is a mess. be. <laughs> Do you have paper towel at least? Yeah, uh, I feel like there must because it seems like your wire is stretched differently in different parts of it. So I think something's going on with your stretch because that was happening last week too, and I was just afraid that I sent you bad wire accidentally. But um, must, that could maybe also be. It does have to be stretched as a whole. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's correct. doing that. So it seems like there. I think maybe could it be like Jacked. a tension thing, like too much tension, and then it's stretching as he's pulling it. So yeah, that's one section that's overstretched because his hands had more tension than another. You want me to have section. less tension? I can have less tension. Well, that. Oh wait, now that I'm seeing that, it doesn't that, look bad. Right? Like, all right, keep that angle. You see, you have a kind of a good angle right now. You. Oh, okay. Let me explain it to you this way. If you're claptoning or fuse clapton, you have pretty much a straight angle. I mean, if right, you're right. slant on there, it's just a little bit. Little the bit. alien, don't go too dramatic. Just stay a little ahead. Just a little. Yeah. You don't want to be too much of an angle this way. Just a little ahead. I'm going to do it right now, and hopefully my black shirt, you'll kind of see how, how close my angle okay. is, maybe. Okay. So I'll try to do that. Oh, I didn't know you were bird nesting up like that. Yeah, it's super. Oh, okay. So are you getting caught each time, or? Oh, that's... You got some weird patterning going on, doggy. Well, I don't know what you want from me. I'm doing it the it's same way you did. Cool. It's totally intentional. I mean, we could just name 100% it. Hundred percent intentional. We could just name yeah. it something. I'll make a tutorial for it, and all the good coil builders will do their versions of it. Yeah, put yeah. their sick pictures up there. Whole new trend. But I, so I think I'm past, like where I think there was bad wire. Yeah, I think it's getting caught as you're going around. You, yeah, that is. Yeah, you need to pull a little more tension on it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. I was totally Your wrong. Your angle's pretty was, good. It could be a little close. Yup, yup, yup. You got it. Yeah. You just put until it clicks in, and then you just keep that same tension. Yep, there it is. Nope. Yeah, you let you let up a little bit. So just do the same thing, more tension, until you can get it wrapping around there again. I think Nick's right. Just stretch a little bit more. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stretch but a you little can, bit more. Yeah. From and you can just keep practicing with that. And I, I mean, obviously, if you want to get that done, you'll probably need another decor. Yeah. But. The stretches. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get a single coil somewhere in mm -hmm. here. I feel yeah. like Were I can you? get a few inches of good alien. All right. Nick, when you were on here earlier, did you have your headphones in when he was talking about the stretch until you feel it? Yes. I, it's the last time I did that, I, it, it caused me to overstretch it. Maybe, yeah, maybe not the best technique to tell you. Yeah, I mean, no, okay. uh, also, this time. You don't feel like you're failing as an instructor or a teacher by watching me flounder with this, because you're not. You're doing great. All of this oh, no, yeah. Mind, you know. It's it's a hard build. I mean, some people still, ask, like I get the text all the time. I still can't get the alien. And sometimes things in life are just fucking hard. And fucking hard. you really just yeah, you just need to keep practicing, keep trying, and eventually you get down. Now another thing I will mention is anybody that you watch that's good at aliens, they almost you could almost um, sync them up with a typewriter. My hands probably almost always, and I'm moving my almost my whole body. Like everything right. is. Now, Kent's right, you want this a little loose, yes. But I'm literally moving my whole body. I'm yeah. keeping my nose center with literally where the fuse is going. And my shoulders center, like I'm not like this. I'm yep. not, I'm, and I'm moving my whole body like this. And that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's kind of what it I is the to movement that you need. Yeah, exactly. I like to get my arms and stuff like, more or less like locked in. Mm -hmm. And then I just move my chair. Yeah. You know, slowly. Yeah, I guess I move my whole body too. It's that's that's weird because that's not something I don't think you can necessarily intentionally learn, is it? That's just kind of sort of happens after you do it a bunch. Are you, are you saying like yeah, you I can mean, do that you on could purpose? Teach yourself. I mean, like you said, the one you could teach yourself these bad habits where I'm trying to think of what I used to do. I, I was explaining this in the one video. I used to not breathe when I was doing it. And how I figured it out was, and you gotta fucking breathe because you need oxygen and stuff. So, <laughs> so what I would used to, I used to do is like I would do these aliens and I would pulse them and I would go and stop. And I noticed every time I stopped, the reason I'm stopping is because I'm breathing. I was holding my goddamn breath. 
So I literally uh, yeah. had to start telling myself, like, breathe. Like, because then I'm doing two foot aliens and I'm holding my breath, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I'm going down. I'm Your fucking my lips like, are turning blue. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, face. Yeah, I'm like 50 seconds of holding my breath now. So, and then there's um, just the movements, too. I, I would, like, try to get the, um, like, how he's trying to stretch it more by pulling it. Well, my understretch was, would be so under that I would start moving my arm back throughout the whole build. And I keep moving it back, moving it back to where I'm done with the alien and my hands all the way back here. When I just need right. it in one spot and I need to just move. Yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, I wrapped it backwards. Huh. Upside down, I should say. Shit. Oh. This is good here. That alien ending. Nah. It's not. It's not. It's not working. Ah. I think at this point it might be. You did your decor the opposite way that you're going right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it worked at the beginning. I had some actual aliens in there. Okay. Let's back off a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna be at your house soon. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be aliens. We're gonna be able to figure out what's going on. It's, it's difficult to communicate some of these things through video. I think dual core alien is harder. <laughs> <laughs> this is harder, dude. Do look. There's some good alien here, and then just jank nation. Look at that. What happened there? Man. So it's much easier. It's stretch in the beginning. I'm debating what's going on right now, but sometimes when you mess with a decor too much, yeah. they, uh, the wire starts getting brittle. You got it right now? I think you should just leap your face, dude. You're a little overstretched right now, I think, but you're good. I feel, uh, yeah. You're good? Yeah. Golden Tony Boy. There you go. Nope. What happened there? I think, Did you see that? I, th I think you should just blast it and take a leap of faith because you didn't need to do another decor anyway. You think I should just blast it? Not full blast, but like half blast. Get your angle right. Half blast it. Really? Because you, you're already so fucked. If you continue this, it's going to continue doing this. Well, look, no. I so, have like another like, oh, uh, seven inches of I think, wire here. I think you're... Doing too much, too much conscious, yeah, intentional you think I'm work here. It? I think you're absolutely overthinking it. I think if you, not not full blast, half blast like that. Get your angle set. Do half blast and just go try to do the field. Try to by feel. Just do it by feel. You got nothing to lose at this point. I just want to make sure that they're starting on there before I. I know, go. but you wanted to you wanted to make sure you're staggered. Fuse Clapton was perfect too, but you didn't remember when you took that leap of faith. Let's go ahead and let's see how many let's see how many wins faith. we get with this method. Let's try it. I need to get past that janky spot. No, you don't. Yes, I Fucking do. just go. It'll stretch automatically and put it in place, dude. Half speed, go. That's not an alien. What you're seeing right there. Oh, yeah, because you're going, you're going too slowly. Just let me get some wraps on there. Is that doing it, Kent? It is. Yes, it's in there. So go. Oh, it was until you freaked out. I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's doing a weird pattern. You're right. You're also not following my directions to just fucking go for it. I don't know what this is doing, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah. 
that. Yeah, you're over overstretched it's by over her. Now. I think. Yeah, it's over now. Yeah, it's way overstretched. Well, just it's, by hair. It's only a little, actually. Yeah, it's only a little. Yeah, I think what's happening is like it's a little bit loose on there as you're making the alien, and then it gets to a certain point where it has enough slack in that looseness to wrap around again, and it wraps around twice, tightens up, and does the same thing again. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to start over. Why is this harder? But it's better to go fast and oh, figure yeah, that out yeah. than. I could wrap that into a coil. No, that's stupid. You should save all your scraps, dude. Like a pack rat. That's what I do. I saved. I saved them all for a few weeks, and I just this last weekend got rid of them. Just this Ooh, last that's your problem. That's why this isn't working. See. All of your old sacrificial coils and like wire, fucked up wire, you save it there. It's like energy, build energy, you know? And then the, it blesses all your future builds. That looks pretty cool. You could actually wrap that up. I don't know that I could. You could probably have hot spots in it too, but it's actually. Yeah, but it's even it's an even enough uniform pattern. Sometimes you pattern. get that with the aliens that you fuck up the alien, but the pattern looks cool. I have to take a potty break. Whoops. Oh, dude, I got some aliens at the end. There you go. I did just need to let it fly. I think I was overstretched. Yeah, at the at the end, yeah, at the end of the This is definitely, definitely overstretched, you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. At the beginning, I don't think that's what was going on, but I think it's up to you whether you want to keep making this coil. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I think if you made another decor, I think you. I'll, I'll have to do I, another. Decor. You'll see that you'll do better than this. I'm gonna do another decor real quick, and then. Oh wait, see now Chris is gone, Kent's gone, everybody's gone. I didn't even know Chris was here. Who's Chris? Chris, I don't know why I said Chris. <laughs> I don't know why I said Chris. Ken's gone. All right, I'm gonna do another decor, and I'm just gonna try this again. So, wrap these coils up, and then um, I have some coils I can shove off. Yeah. Wow, that got junky. This wire got real sideways on me. The brew real sideways on me. Appreciate that encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Inconsistent tension, Daniel. I think I started off understretched and I think I overcorrected and overstretched it. And then I think that's where we ended up. I think that's 100% what happened. Kent's off hydrating, I know. Um, Mystic Coil says, I find two core aliens need a bit more angle on the fuse wire than three or more cores. It may, yes, it makes sense. a little more of an angle, but I think um, you could still cut down your end. But yes, I, I do believe he's right. Uh, I feel like I need more of an angle on a two four than three. All right. Let's see how fast I can do this. How fast can we? Mine, seem, very, mine seems about the same. Yeah, yeah my it's angle. very small of a difference to where I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's always worth mentioning. And it's fucking. It's it's a pretty objective too, as far as like how big the angle is, because it's your brain interpreting the angle. Right, yeah. right, right. Everybody's yeah. gonna see that shit a little bit differently, so. Yeah. 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 Because sometimes when I see it and it's going on the wire, it looks perfect to me, and then Kent will go, "Oh, you you know, you're too far this, you're too far that." but that's just because he's looking at it like a slightly different angle. It's hard. This is going to be yeah, much well, easier, Kent, when you're I mean, here. Yeah, well, basically, the evidence is there in your alien afterwards. Like, you can look back at the history of what you did, pretty much. If your decor, if your stretch is the, if your stretch is the same throughout, and you get gaps in the alien, it means your angle is too far forward. If it fucking overlaps, it's probably too far back. Yeah, you know? dude. So, so it's... It's like historical, you know, yeah, evidence-based. You can see evidence. what you did. It's evidence-based. 
can I make my, like, let's say I, I want to see mine. I don't need to share the whole screen, right? Just see yours. I really need to look in my OBS because oh, that's good. To, yeah, he wants to show his. Oh, yeah. I got it. Uh, yeah, Let me on. go in my OBS and fix this lighting. It is so glary right now. As much as I can, anyway. Okay. Well. Come fucking cool right. people with the OBS. All right, I'll, fuck, I'll download it after this stream. Whatever, you know? I don't want to be left out. You don't have to. Do, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. So, uh, yeah, OBS is actually, like, for this, it's all right, but you don't even need it. I mean, obviously, you know that because you don't have OBS in your ear. But this is a pretty cool little app, but it is only for Mac, right? You can? Oh. No. Is it? No, it's not only for Mac. I tried, so I assumed that it was like Zoom. I just assumed that it was like a app like that. And I tried to go over there. Maybe I searched the wrong thing, but it was like, you don't have a Mac, so you can't have this. Oh, all right. I don't have a Mac. But Everybody. maybe that's, maybe I looked at the wrong thing, though. I, I could be. Well, how do you guys feel killing aliens and then I'm starting over? And you guys are already done. Kent's on his phone. He's checking Instagram. No, I'm looking up OBS. I'm just kid Kent. I messed Look, up my I second one, so I'm probably gonna do another one. But I also have like wires here I can like show off. I have like some of the coil class coils from the last episodes I can show off and install. I think yeah. Show you should on. just make his screen half half the screen and put us over onto the other side. I'm going to, bro. Oh you are? Yeah. Oh yeah, Give I me just a couldn't game. tell. I mean, you're bigger enough now. I think if people are on a, they could probably see your screen. I think it's maybe big enough to show what you want to show. Oh, here we can fix this. Yeah, here I can do this. That's not gonna work. It's just you. It's the Nick show. Oh, oh these guys caught me with my pants down. I'm in OBS. One sec. Y'all caught me with my pants down. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how do I turn. No, you can't go yet. Well, it's the Nick Devine show starring Nick Devine. Okay. So then I should be able to go to this. And I should be able to go to this. And I should be able to activate. And. They have it for Windows. Yeah. Yeah, Linux even. Linux. Fuck yeah. Try to oh, try to hold on. me down. There it is. Alright. Uh, no, it's just a great it's just a gray screen. Yeah. All right, one sec. I, I'm almost done this. Uh, do, 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 do. I apologize. You know, Grim Jesus Green, just make Christ, your Jesus Christ, Nick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> get your shit together, Nick Devine. You got to get your shit together, pal. You're a real streaming problem, buddy. I'm gonna put Dude, just make your decor, okay? Oh. I'm trying to make him the full screen before I start my decor. We'll I'm just leave, leave it, you know? If people don't have audio right now, I apologize, but you know, it's going to be fine. It's fine. He's going to figure this out soon. There you go. Wait. Okay, now I'm full screen. Cool. Yeah. All right. So these are the ones I just made. I did have a mistake in them one, but we did that. We did that mistake. Don't worry about it. And I don't know why they might. See, my rap job is. A little gappy, yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do, though? You know, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, it's my first day. <laughs> this is uh, one that I made. This. I think I made this like a day in here. So what size is your micro clap to then? 
This is. Oh, it's got the pulse bomb there already, huh? This is just, is it 4238? Yeah. 4238. Really? Yes. So I have a real oh. problem with 46 doing it live. It's almost impossible to see. It's like very impossible to see. Oh, I know. On the camera, it almost looks like nothing's happening. So 44 is pretty much the limit for me. I'm sure that there's people that can do 46 on camera live, but it's very hard to pick up. So when you're doing a, a live build and you have a macro shot of it, are you looking through the screen to make that build? Yes. Or are you no, actually no, 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 I'm sorry, no, no. I use, so that's another good tip for room green. Glasses, some kind of like um, magnifying oh, glasses. Like, I have some of those. I think you. I think you would really benefit right now, especially with these or something like these. Even if they're like times right. two. Right. I'm gonna get them literally right now. I just got yeah. them in my last vlog. Shout out to Anthony Ramella. I have a pair of those. They're awesome. Yeah. Oh, and you only then you'll be able to see. Like, yes. To what you do. But I have a feeling that he's gonna over rely on those and just be like this the whole time. Though. <laughs> Come on. Maybe. Yeah. See, that's the thing is I never did aliens with with these before. And then when I got these and I started staggering with them, now I like always use them. And it's probably not even good for my eyes. Really? For every yeah. build? Yeah, I just feel, it's almost like my eyes can't do it anymore. It's, it's really weird. It's like, I oh. can't see it as good as I want. I, it, I guess it's just like, I know like I can see this better. Why am I doing this to myself? You know, oh, so when you're making a fucking micro clap and you're literally up that close the whole time, Oh, not a, just to clap to no. no, no okay. No, no, just like if I'm alien or fusing or something. No, no, micro clap and I. It's easy enough to see the pattern, right? To see that the water's changing color, and to see right, right, no it's just a color change, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, but you're more complicated staggers. Of course, you have to see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're skipping three. You got to fucking look at it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and you're counting yeah, stuff. Yeah, see, all that. see, I think that the reason that I never use those is because I stand up, I build standing up. And so in order to use those, I have to be hunched over literally like this, uh, flat down. If I was sitting there in a chair with a, at a table, like with this wire, yeah, that makes more sense. There. It's like, yeah. you can fucking see it, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Huh. I even used to like be able to fuse like 40 gauge and like skip fuse 40 gauge on a, on a staple stagger fuse clock, and now I, I, I don't even think I was gonna the yeah. Well, it's like it's like anything else. It's a it's a color change. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you always say. Oh, what is this? That's cool. Oh yeah, that's cool as hell. This camera. Oh, you can see straight through it. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing that without glasses. So is that fucking quadruple fused? Um, no. This is so. This is just like a pattern fuse. So I oh. fuse four spaces. It looks different on the other side too. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Is that easier, Kent? Yeah. Okay. So you do four, skip four. Do four, skip mm -hmm. four. But on the other side, you see the angled one. Almost yeah, so if you had just solid wires, no one would really know how you did it unless you showed them the back yeah. of it. Hmm. What does it look like on the... Oh. Oh. See, the one's angled. See, that, that this isn't section. something you're doing fast. This looks like it takes <laughs> like tedious, intricate work. To get yeah, it done absolutely. rather than just yes. keep a faith, let it you know, let fly with your drill, bro. I mean, yeah, yes, there's no blast in that. And I'm not, I'm pretty sure this was like a two show deal. I'm pretty sure this was like I did that live, and it was like a two show deal. Like I prepped it the one show, and then the next show, I fused it. So, this 
So it's like a five hour build. Yeah. Like I just recently learned staggers. Like hmm. anything beyond just a regular, like that you can just blast through staggers. It was for that build off that I think you were judging it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's when I learned oh. how to oh, really do. Oh, because each round was a certain kind of build, right? Right. Yeah. And then the staggered round, I had, I had to go pretty deep. Staggers are rough. I actually do better with staggers than I do with like something like an alien. I feel more comfortable in the oh. staggering. But that's probably because it is more of an exact science and aliens are. Aliens are just, a, it's a lot of feeling. It's just a lot of feeling. It seems like it's all feeling. Aliens yeah. are all feeling. Even the stretch. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. Might be right. Might yeah. Be, you know. Even the stretch. Yeah. Right. Well, hey, I appreciate yeah. you guys hanging out while I struggle to build this. I don't have a Dude, Actually, dude, I should probably look at the chat, huh? <laughs> How often do builders get to just hang out and talk while we're building? This is fucking great. Yeah, dude. Keep it up. <sighs> dude, diet soda? I didn't know what I was missing. I used to always be, <laughs> I, I used to be always scared of his aspartame, man. I was like, man, that stuff's bad for you. But you know what? It's, it's delicious. There's zero calories. So you just eat your normal food and then you have a diet soda. It's great. It. <sighs> okay. I used to make fun of people who would go and order like a supersized, you know, Big Mac meal and then get a Diet Coke. I'm like, yo, what's the point? Dude, what's the point? My decor is gone. Look at that. It's like it 500 less calories. Yeah. Oh, are you, what are you drinking soda right now? Are you had one tonight? Oh, God. Oh, no. Here's one right here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dr. Pepper cream soda, zero sugar. Yeah, I, I started with zero decor. sugar. I don't like zero is. sugar drinks. I like only drink water. Coffee. Yeah, I, I used to just 100% Lacroix, but then I started doing these weird fucking, you know, gaining weight, losing weight, and it's just so much. It's nice when you're, especially on a like a pretty restrictive calorie deficit, mm -hmm. and then you have a fucking delicious like taste of zero, yeah. zero calorie soda. No, it's like heaven. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's like. I never tried them waters there. I don't sparkling water just doesn't. I, the burping too much. I guess it just annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're literally. Too much. You know, it's not like. No, a, it makes you burp. Me yeah, it does. It makes everyone burp, yeah. And then some people just don't really think about it and you're just belching. You don't realize it. And then yeah. M Turk was like, I don't like the bubbly water. And I'm like, oh, really? Why? And he's like, oh, I don't know, man. I just don't like it. And I'm like, oh, I guess it does make you burp a lot. He's like, yeah, man. It does. Yeah, man. And I, was like, and I was like, oh. Yeah, man. M Turk's so opinionated. It's, it's really fun hanging out with him. Did you stretch it yet? No. You want to try something then? Maybe I still have a decor left. I okay. can tell you how much. I, do you know how long your decor is? About this long. He doesn't have a ruler of any uh, sort. I don't think. That's a good thing to have. Is maybe a yard either a stick. ruler or sometimes yeah. Sometimes I I used to just have a piece of masking tape running down my table and just say, marked off at every inch. I'm gonna say this is ten inches of decor. Ah. Let's see. Being generous. It's ruler. That's about nine inches of decor. Nine being... inches. Okay. All right. Then let me stretch this one. I'll tell you how much. I'm going to cut mine to nine. Yeah, see, but I'm not going to be able to measure. Oh, yeah, you're can. not going to be able to measure. I can eyeball. Yeah, you're pretty nice. good at eyeballing, you know. But I am going to measure it. It's use, of useful day. information anyway, you know. Now we'll all know how much to stretch a yeah, nine yeah. inch. I agree. Now that would literally core. only work for this, like this two core 26 gauge decor on a 28 alien. This one. You no, know, it would be different for another alien. This. Dang, you guys. This good times. What's, uh, I think there were some more super chats that came in. Uh, committed to the mistake. My ex-wife's new nickname. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go, Mue. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's hard. That's a hardcore joke, wow, man. I know, that is. It's going committed to the mistake. <laughs> that's great. Come on. Now, Nick, I feel like... No, Ken. 
I feel like this stream, I'm not really doing very well. Five and a half feet. You're doing great. Which well, makes I just want to. I want to apologize. You know, why do you think like you're not stretched nine good? inches too? Which is pretty much the same. Like I have self-esteem issues. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're great. Yeah, you're ask, awesome. ask my psych. Ask my psychologist. This would I don't be. Have one. This would Maybe be. I should oh, get Ken, one. here's what I'll tell you. This would be not as good of a stream without you here. That's what I'll tell you. Uh, I think you're doing great. All right. I love having oh, you maybe, here, bro. Dude, maybe I'm just fishing for compliments. You got to be careful with me. Oh, you do do well, that sometimes. It's true. People you like do do that Ken. sometimes. Everybody, but people do like seeing Ken, especially since he's not on streams as yeah, much. Yeah, Ken's, you know. Ken's a rare gem. We don't get to hang out with yeah. him that often anymore. Yeah, you're all so busy with your real life bullshit. I'm just in my house. <laughs> Bullshit. Sitting in my house with my cats, just I got no friends. So we're gonna start stretching this. How many cats do you have? Just two. I just got my second one. We just got like a new kitten. And I think so, I saw. Yeah, I saw that. So you have an orange cat as an adult? Yeah, he's like ten, and he's a, he's a big boy. He's like he's probably around twenty pounds. Oh and wow, it is big. I guess he's oh, a Maine Coon or something. Coon. But if he's a Maine Coon, he's a smaller Maine Coon because those things get they, those things do get pretty big. Yeah, but they, he's a big, they he's range big in boy. size, but okay. And I love the male Stretching. cat. I don't know if you if you have males or females, but I've always had females. But this male cat, it really changed my mind on, on cats. I got two brothers, dude. They're from the same litter. Yeah, I love the male cats. I think they're. Uh, they're not as standoffish as females, and they're just, um, cat, you female throw, cats you can throw them around. Really. Yeah, you can rough up male cats quite a bit. They like it. Yeah. So he's stretching it. Did you tell him how many to stretch it? Five and a half feet. Around five and a half feet. Okay, he can't. Hear if he us, were but... literally to do, if he were literally to go like this, it would. If he just stretched it like this, it would probably work. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He's really far away. It feels like I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he can hear us either. I like it. I think he's. Good. I like it. I can hear you talking shit about me, Ken. Oh, we can. Okay, good. Uh, Even my headphones are across the room. Like, was that five and a half? Here. Five and a half feet? Did he tell you that? Five and a half feet. Yeah. It was. Basically five and a half feet. I mean, I. I'm, look, yeah, look around the, you're around six. Me. You're almost six feet tall. Yeah, I'm six right? feet. I'm just exactly six feet tall. Yeah, that's what everybody says, right? But like, uh, this isn't fucking Tinder. Hey, dude. come measure you don't have me. To lie to us. Come measure me. Maybe I will. You're taller than me anyway. You're over. Six I'm six foot, foot exactly. That's why I say everyone's lying. You're taller than me. Okay, maybe I'm not six. Okay, feet. yeah. So you're not six feet. Anyway, that, this isn't a conversation <laughs> about how tall you are. <laughs> you really took it seriously there for a can't you like look everybody yeah, lies every, i'm six do. feet everybody else is lying <laughs> it does seem like all the time thing that everybody people lies about everybody me. gets away with it yeah. does it really does six people five. shorter than me all the time say oh i'm six feet i'm like no you're not they're like yeah i promise dude some people get real mad yeah they're like yeah. Look, it says on my license. I'm like, yeah, you can tell him anything. I said I was six two for a long time. My license, but I lied too. <laughs> I'm not I above lying too. about my height. I lied too. <laughs> They're like, let me see your license. They're like, see, you're six two. I'm like, no, dude, we're both lying. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get my magnifying glasses. Okay. All right. We're just keep adding, keep adding. You know, e liquid to his yeah, fingers, buddy. magnifying glasses. I think this is just a problem. You're going to need a couple your... Legos, possibly a fishing <laughs> swivel, maybe a button off of one of your old shirts. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrap, the cord, wrap the cord three times Biggest around your Oh, and ankles. hot glue. I'm going to get some hot glue. Hot glue and a lighter. You don't like hot glue, right? Cloud what? Oh. Hot glue, hot glue, like from a hot glue gun. Oh, now Do that I, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't use it anymore. For certain builds, I would have to, but mm -hmm. for all the builds that I do recently, I haven't needed it because I have the Fordham dude set up with a swivel on a track, Bro. and so I can just pull tension super hard. So I just put a lot of tension on like stagger tins and stuff like that, and it holds them completely in line. I don't need to use any glue at all. You just like 
I put the ribbon, I get the ribbon prepped like usual with a little, you know, some wire wrapped around the top mm -hmm. once I have it folded. And then I stick that in the swivel and I just pull out, I wrap another hand, hand clapped in like nine or something around the ends, clip them, stick it in that chuck, tighten it most of the way so that it can hold a little bit of tension. And then I'll wrap a, a single wire around that really well. Then I'll tighten it fully. So it's already held tight by those wires yeah. that I wrapped around. Tighten it completely and then I pull fucking shit tons of tension on there. Yeah. And it holds it completely straight. I don't have to worry about hot glue or anything. I got that from Matador Vapes. That's how, because he's a production builder. That's how he does it. Yeah. But I also don't stretch my ribbon either. You don't, yeah, well, if you don't have to stretch your ribbon, you really shouldn't stretch your ribbon. Um, and for the most part, bad ribbon has not really been an issue for a while. And then I lost count. I haven't really got a bad spool of ribbon in a very, very long time. I'm sure it happens, but there's there's some companies out there that are uh, really good about that. Are you guys doing good? Where'd Kent go? Yeah. Kent I don't know. Off? Oh, just I, Kent just disappear? It might have been a surprise to him that he left too. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let me tell you, these magnify you guys are real good at seeing your stretch, like seeing how far apart it's yep. actually spaced. That's pretty interesting. Yes. I could tell, like looking at it going on the core wires, I could see that it was understretched before I got too far, like carried away. Yes, exactly. Man, these are weird. I really like these. Thanks, Anthony Ramella. Shout out to my patron, Anthony Ramella, for the magnifying guys. These are pretty great. All right, let's continue. We're gonna get this alien done. Kent's back. What's oh, happening? It's happening. I'm wondering if I should just... Oh, Kent's back. What up, Kent? Why are you on here twice? Okay, okay, okay. Shouldn't have stopped, but that was going perfect. Damn it. How's, you okay, Kent? I can't hear you. I can't hear Kent either. Oh, Kent. I don't know where you went. I don't know why your audio's off. Okay. I don't know why Kent is silent. Where did you go and how did you come back? God damn it, Kent. <laughs> Here, how about this? Is that better? Can I hear you now? Son of a bitch. I can't hear him at all. It says guest is in the green room and I can't get you out of the green room. All right, Kent, you're just quiet from now on. Can't hear you. And you've ruined my alien. Oh, why are you calling me? <laughs> Kent, what the what? fuck? What are you doing? You, you, you pretended like you could hear me. I can't hear you. For yeah, some I reason, know. you're locked in the... Black. 
my phone, my camera ran out of batteries. Okay. And then I put a new battery in, I exited out, and I came back in. And I'm fucked. Alright, exit out. and I'm out. Here, come back. Come back, Kent. I'm trying to build coils here, buddy. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Now you're back. Except you're still muted. How do you unmute yourself? <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Somebody said he needs yeah. the green card. It's like, can't. Uh, okay, all right. I'll, I'll, let me pause in the middle of my alien so that we can make sure that Kent is on the screen. Click the link again, buddy. Sorry, I'm not trying to sound condescending. I know, I really do need a win, Dave. I appreciate you being here for me, buddy. Appreciate you being here for me. There he is. Solo. Can we hear you now? What the hell is going on? Can't. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. And you can We're see good. me again? I can see you. We're good. How about now? You can still hear me? I can still hear you, but I have to add you back in here. Uh, how about that guy? Can I hear you now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you got that right. You can. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> it's so frustrating when you can't hear me. Can I, I don't get back know to building my coils now? You can do whatever you want at this point. I'm well, back. I'll just you know, mess them up, but me. I want you to know that these magnifying guys make it awesome for seeing the coils. It's made aliens. Yeah, I, I forgot times that better, you're. Bro. I forgot that you're like blind, basically. I, I'm. I can see up close really well, but these kind of take it to another level, and it lets me see how like de like how stretched my decor is. Easier, a lot easier. Right. I, lot I feel easier. like I feel like it's a vision thing. And this will help you, yeah. We'll see how it goes. The problem that happens is my decor gets snagged. Yeah, on the carpet? No, like just on anything. On the edge of my mm -hmm. desk, on my leg, on my shirt. Yeah. You know what I like to do? What? I like to take the decor and kind of like, instead of having it just go back in a line, mm -hmm. I take it and kind of droop it. Like I hold it by the end and like I'll droop it over my lap a little bit and then yeah. flip it off the side. It's kind of going across my crotch right now. Well, yeah, but I mean, I would pull more slack down in between your crotch and have it hanging between your legs and then flip over your leg to avoid the carpet completely. Oh, I, I have wood floors. I don't have carpet. All right. I mean, That's if it's working for you, just don't change anything. I feel like this is working for me. All right, let's see. I'm shred it. Let's see if I can wrap these like a real person now. So do you use a jig? Yeah, I actually did it around a 3 five too. I use one of them coil master things. Oh, fuck me running. God damn it. I was doing so good. It's all right. We're just going to keep going. Yep, you got enough on this one for a single coil for sure. You just keep going. And these will these are now twenty six gauge one five, twenty six gauge in N eighty. Why? Why? And thirty it's gonna be about point one five dual coil six wrap around three millimeter. Why? Sounds right. It just keeps fucking up. I don't know how. I don't know what I keep doing wrong. Oh, twisted messes merch. How'd that get here? <laughs> it's called advertising. <laughs> this, this, this is all by design, my friend. <laughs> I got a twisted messes merch. You probably never even seen. I tell everybody I got this off the website too. Oh, lighter? Twisted messes lighter, yeah. 
Yeah, it melts hot really faster than regular water. <laughs> It's my it? angle. My angle is off. I, it's my angle. Yeah, um, that's what this is for. Every is to, time. Is to get to your just angle worry about down. Yeah. Now think about if you were worrying about another core on top of this. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's so that's why the two core time. aliens, like he said, are great practice to get your angle nailed down. It you really, know? okay. Because yeah. you got your stretch out of the way, you know? And so now it's literally the only, the only factor left is your angle. Yeah, I mean, and the stretch, I feel like it's still a little bit understretched because I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it. Yeah, but you, a little bit understretched is kind of like optimal because it keeps tight on the cores. Okay. No, now I'm going full mohawk. Yeah, so when you get Mohawk, all you gotta do is pull it forward for one turn, like really far forward, just to get it out of the way. So it doesn't catch like that, and then you get back, and you can go back. Oh, you wanna see something cool, Ken? I don't think you've ever seen this. Yeah, let me see. I'm so down to see cool a, stuff, man. This is an RDA holder, right? Like an RDA, um, you know, somebody, resin, poured resin. It did it again? It's from uh, Lumi. I, these guys might know me from Fresh Oak. Well, Lumi so. Quills, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So yeah. she she told me send her wires, at, you know, some of my wires that I just got laying around. She'll throw it in this resin thing. So I got, like, a whole bunch of, like, complex wires in there and some stuff oh, too. But, like, I got, like, like a pitchfork that's... in there and stuff. Yeah, that's cool because instead of coils, it's actually, like, filling up the space. It looks yeah. way cool, dude. And they're preserved for eternity. That's cool. Aliens in the future are going to find that and just wonder what the hell we were doing. What time is it where you're at right now? I'm just an hour ah! earlier than you. <laughs> hour. Ah! I'm going to pout in a second. Although this is a really good learning experience, like getting a little bit of alien and then fucking it up and then correcting and getting a little bit of alien and fucking it up and then correcting and then yeah. getting a little bit of alien and fucking up seems to just be what I'm going to do today from beginning it, to yeah, end. The idea is to get them set. You're getting like an inch and then messing up, getting an inch and messing up. The yeah. idea is to get an inch and a half and then, you know, mess, mess up. up. And then <laughs> right. you, you only need three and a half inches to get a quarter. So I, I wonder if I could do it with my right hand. On the on the core on the decor, this might be a thing too. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed. And your your hands on the right on the mm -hmm. drill, right? My right I, I do the same thing. Hand. I build left-handed. It's it's kind of. But you're right-handed as well. I'm right-handed. Yeah. I build yeah. Left you know my right you know my physical therapist actually brought up a good point on that. He said, "What? Yeah, the left arm, the non-dominant hand, is the support hand, whereas the the dominant hand is the one that's more dexterously." whatever and if you think about what you're doing with a decor is you're just you're just supporting it you're not really like controlling it wrapping around right it makes sense that your your support hand would be the one that you would hold it's like playing a guitar the easy part is actually the strumming and the hard part is the frets and your left hand does the if you're right-handed your left hand does the frets huh well that's the opposite of In what he way. was saying yeah uh, okay <laughs> Listen. Yeah, okay, so I guess there's no rhyme or reason for it. So also, here's something I've noticed is the alien, the decor seems to twist in your fingers. Does it? Is it right. supposed to be twisting in your fingers a little bit? Yeah. You want to you wanna let it not, though. But yes, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, is that, that alien's always twisting. Right. It's always twisting as, you, as you're twisting the drill. So you do kind of want to let go of that tension a little bit. That's kind of why the slipping through the fingers is a good thing. Yeah. So it actually also spins in your fingers. Yeah, but I would just say, yes, it's supposed to twist, and that's okay. Don't let it freak you out, but don't, like, try to think about it, I don't think. This is full mohawk. 
Right. So just, so just pull, pull it. You just need a little more tension, yeah. I'm just trying to get it out of this. Oh, there it goes. Nope. I'm going too slow. That's the problem, isn't it? Remember yeah. what you said the other week with the weight of your hand. You want the weight of your hand, and if that's not enough, then just pull a little back. Yeah, I think he's just an overthinker, you know? Really? I would say as soon as you get it going good a little bit, speed up your drill. Yeah. Just a hair. And then the momentum, you'll just carry it through. The drill's not in reverse right now. What? The drill's not in reverse right now. No, no, uh, no. It's going clockwise. That's good. That's good. Whoa! Why did I do that? Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's just the tension. Now you gotta just keep the same tension. That's that's what happened there. Yep. It's still going. How do I fix this? How do I get out of that? You need to pull more. You need to keep the same tension. Like if I pull back with, you know, 10 pounds of pressure, I need to have that 10 pounds of pressure to pull away. Because we stretch the wire the same size. So if, you ha if you're holding a wire from each end and stretching it, then essentially it's all the same pattern across. As long as you stretch it enough, it's all the same pattern across. So if I have to pull, you know, I mean, it's obviously not 10 pounds of pressure, but if I had to pull 10 pounds of pressure right now, I gotta keep that 10 pounds of pressure the whole way. The whole way with that. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Doing good though. I mean that's that's even a bigger one then. Uh, yeah, that's like an inch. Oh god damn it. How much decor you got left? Uh not not, not, not like a crazy you know? Maybe two feet? Three feet? Two feet? I think you should blast it, dude. Also, I think you should this get... is also something I'll do too. And especially when I was learning aliens, I did this. I pulsed my drill. I would I would pulse it, and then I would step to let this hand catch up. I would stop it a little bit, and I would. And that way, you can get your angle set every time. Mm -hmm. You could kind of catch up. Maybe the drill's same. just going a little too quick, and you, you know you just have to catch up a little bit. So maybe yeah. Because I think quick. he's I think he's actually I think he's going too slowly. Because you know how like you hold an alien too long in your fingers, the, the decor, mm -hmm. sure. and you start like going numb almost like you can't tell the pressure you're holding anymore because it's hard to hold continual pressure at the same exact amount for a long period of time so i think this slow moving careful movement is actually hampering him it's too much it, it, yeah it is I definitely think, some people say that like once they start pressing down that trigger they started getting them aliens yeah that's what I, th right. I think it's a let's see how you know goes. hang on i'm gonna my camera so that we can all get to now you could start this. slow to get like to get that tension you know that tension you gotta find yeah. so alien falls start slow but then once you yeah. catch it start yeah okay once i find i'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick I'm go go and i'm gonna go i'm just gonna all right this is for kent this is just get your angle fly. going first okay. nice and slow once your tension and your angle is good and you're, you're seeing it on there then just speed it up and let your body do it because your body at this point knows how to do it i'm pretty confident of that yep just like that oh see what happened it went into mohawk mode yeah yeah your tension is is my t is that from inconsistent tension on this on the wire yeah, or you're not moving your actual hand, right? 
You're not no. moving your hand closer to the wire, right? No, Staying no, no. in the same spot? Yeah, same spot. Yeah. Then it's just the tension. Okay. That's exactly what it is. The tension between your fingers. Okay. 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 No, it's just going to keep making those, isn't it? It's catching, so you need to pull a little bit. You need to pull a little bit more tension and move it forward a bit to get out of the way of the mohawk. There you go. You're Wait, you're still in it. I thought I got past it. Every time I speed up, can't. Every time I speed up. Okay, not. Well, every time you it's slow down, too. It's, it's going to have. You're going to see, though, if you just needed to be a little quicker with your left hand, and you probably would have. Yeah, just. It. It's frustrating, it is, but. I promise you, I I did the same exact thing when I was like. See, my angles. I get my angle way too ahead of the core wire, like way out there. Yeah, that's okay, probably I can what it see is. right now the tension that you need. So, do you see that there's a little hump at the top of your wire right now, like yeah. just from the from the D core? So, yeah. if you were to pull that down until it touches the 26, that's the tension you need. Right. Oh, okay. Because it's yeah, it's wrapping yep. around fully at that point. It gets. It, You're getting it. It's yeah, also the angle too. Ah, yeah, it's, it's my it's angle, a and things. it's a matter of like, it's going too. It's it gets jittery through my fingers every single time. It starts jumping, starts slipping through my fingers, not in like a smooth motion, but in like a jittery. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's as it's untwisting, probably. Yeah. But that's like, uh, it sounds like it's like spinning kind of through the fingers like twisting okay so the end of your decor might still be getting cold on something yeah that needs to free up if if that's the issue it may not be the issue but i'm just gonna let that, this... it sounds like something's not freed up to let it spin here we go here we go we're gonna get this we're gonna get the end of this done i believe I think I'm putting too much pressure on it with my fingers. I think I'm yeah. just pinching it too hard. Then maybe just stretch it a little more, just a tad though, if you were to stretch it a little bit more. Also, it does look like um, Crap. the drill Thanks. could be tightened Appreciate a little bit. That. It looks like the uh, wire could be a little tighter. And Or yeah. maybe you are just pulling on it too tight. I, I, yeah, I think I am, because this maybe. feels real snug and I think I'm just pulling on it too tight. Okay, so if can you see my screen? Yeah. It doesn't just, look at that At this snug. point, the decor is small, right? At this point, you know, you could probably just put your fingers on the wire here where it's, it's at and just kind of just give it a little stretch, right? Just a team, just like really a little one. Uh, let's see. Um, no, let's see. Or is it pretty long? I got this this much. It's maybe a, maybe a foot and a half. 
Yeah, so just give it a little support here on the on the cores and give it a little give it a little pull back. Just a little one. Oh, Alright. Little pull. Just a little pull. Just a little tug. Just, just tug a little, it a little. Just a little tug of roof. It's no big deal. I can hear your frustration, Kim. <laughs> no, it's just it's just um it's interesting to me to try to convey this kind of it, it, it's, my yeah. my new thing through speech, you know. No it's triangle. It was just the angle that time. You had it. it was, was it just the angle? the angle? It was just the angle. It's getting caught up on the last one. It's just the angle. It's a sight. This is why I practice is perfect because what 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 you're looking at right now is an S trying to go around two round wires. It, it, yeah. It's actually an optical illusion that's going on. And it's very hard to see. And it's just the more you see it, the more you understand. But it's very hard to see S's stack on each other. Yes. It's a hard thing to see. Yes. Especially when you're going in reverse and then forward. It's just, Tremendous. it just is. And you kind of just got to trust the process. This wire, you're doing way better than the last one. Yeah. You know? Thank you. I promise you, yeah. it took me literally six weeks to get my first alien. And it was like the only coil I was building when I got home from work. I mean, at least five to ten attempts every night. Stacking those S's. Yep. Little interlocking S's. Ah! Yeah, I think at this point, yeah. like right now, what you're dealing with is you've trained yourself that every few turns, once you get it going, your body freaks out a little bit and tenses up. You, might be you think, you think I'm self-sabotaging right now, Kent? A hundred percent. Really? Yes. You might yeah. be getting excited, like, I got it, don't fuck it up. It, 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 it's yeah, a it's a things. mental yeah. game. It's a mental it game, is. you guys. It's a mental game. What I try it, to do is just, like, give less of a fuck, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, at that's the end of the day, the worst thing that's good, the absolute worst thing that can happen happened. right now, it yeah, it's already happened. happened. The worst thing that can happen is I waste wire and time. And energy and lose subscribers and respect and you know it's kind of a, it's a bit, yeah. I could have I could have showed I mean worst thing could I could have showed up all fucked up on drugs and stuff too well yeah that could have been bad I mean technically I could have died earlier today so right I mean my ferret died or whatever so. oh that's terrible bro I'm sorry dude <laughs> it didn't. that's my oh, excuse that's in case the bill goes bad. In case the build goes bad, you guys remember, oh, his first did just die today, you know. There's a lot of people watching, uh, you know. You have to have built an excuse. And I, I told you this before we started. The angle. The angle. Yeah. The, the angle, angle should be the only thing everything. you're focused on right now, but I think I'm I think not, you're really I'm worried about the tension. On, I want it to look good, and I'm trying to focus on the angle, and mostly I'm trying to focus on the tension because... If I let up just a little bit with the tension, that's when it it like jumps into mohawk mode. Is right, that and that's where speed, focus? a little bit more speed, I feel, is beneficial because you get more into a, a, a groove of it slipping through your fingers. It, you can feel it, feel it slipping through. When you're going really slow, you're really trying to modulate like, like the most minute amounts of pressure to, to let it slip through. And so with the speed, it's easier to kind of get a feel. It's almost like feeling like a solid object rather than this this little fucking decor because as it's vibrating through it feels yeah. like it's actually a shoot and you can modulate the pressure easier is all i'm trying to say with the speed thing yeah also holding that wire back is going to help too holding it back here if you got I, yeah. I would say i hold back right it's like 16 inches i'm, I'm a really that wire. okay that's much yeah, farther like, than i am yeah, you you can make just these minor adjustments from that far. It, it may seem like I'm closer though. Can I make a better adjustment? No, because it's too dramatic of an adjustment right. and you're that close. It's less of a dramatic one. See that? Yeah, with everything, with the pressure, with the angle, everything is less dramatic and less catastrophic if you're farther away. You know? This is a situation where you want a little bit longer seatbelt. <laughs> so, there you go. Nope. I don't yeah, know what caused it, that. I don't know what caused that. I literally don't. I felt like I was doing everything perfectly. Yep. Yeah, so you just, yeah. It will feel like that for a while. 
you just don't quite know what you're doing wrong. It's all part of the process. Relax. As soon as you said relax, it started jumping well, all over the place. Well, it was it was fucking worth the shot, man. You know. It was. You know? Hey, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna we're just gonna blaze this. Oh, okay, no, that was my fault. Okay. I know what I'm doing wrong. It's 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 all in my head. And it's because mm -hmm. the few times I've had successful aliens, it was because I was uh, gripping the decor really tightly. I feel like it's... I, I associate grip tightness with success, and I know that's incorrect because it's a balancing act, but every time I think I'm going to do better by gripping it tighter, but I don't think that's the case. Stop doing that. Stop. Or maybe it, it could also be this left hand, right hand thing too. It oh, could be you know, when you're when you're pressing down on the drill, your left hand is kind of gripping down. Kind of tense. Like up. you're afraid like the drill's going to pull it too far. It's going to pull gonna, too fast. So I better grip down hand. a little bit. I'm gonna try this with my right hand for now. I just want to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the drill with my left hand. I just want to see. That's all. No, okay, it's worse. Much worse. Yeah, you're reaching across your body and stuff. It's yeah. Yeah, you literally just said, "Okay, I'm just gonna blast it," and then you went as slow as you've ever gone. So. <laughs> I mean, you got me excited. I was like, yeah, he's about to blast it. It's going to fucking work. I am. I'm going to blast it. Hang on. Oh, okay. That got bad. That got worse. Keep going. Yep. Oh, faster's better. Yep. Okay. I'm actually kind of hard right now. That was pretty good. Dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Why? Okay. Why? I okay. I'll okay. explain exactly. Okay. I'll explain why. Okay, what? Can't. What? Explain to me why that worked. Okay. 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 <laughs> you know, okay. Explain to me how that suddenly worked. Everything that we said earlier is exactly why. I'll explain okay. it again. Yes. As you go faster, you, not like crazy fast, like you went pretty fucking fast at the end. That was blasting it. You it, really it, were blasting it. It, it got way yeah. easier. As That's soon as faster. I, the faster I went, it suddenly was like, oh, this is easier, 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 easier. Yeah, because you notice how what the sensation was in your hand and your right. left hand as it was flying through there. It's more of a vibration rather than this is a solid object. Right. And you can modulate. Imagine a speaker at a frequency which you can't hear with your ears, but it's moving and you're pushing against it. And you're, tr you're trying to modulate your finger at a specific pressure. Sure. And that thing, it's giving you resistance back. So you have some biofeedback going on in your fingertips. Whereas if you're just trying to hold that stretch and then let a little bit slide through at a time, slowly, how the fuck do you know when to let go, you know? So if you get that you friction just right, and you're just a you're just dealing with a vibration rather than a physical object then, and it is going, and you can just feel it a lot easier. Make minor adjustments at that speed. Right. Right. And it, it's going to go better. And what he said is keeping and your hand farther away as well. If you think about the farther your hand is away, the more loops of this you have, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so if you pull an inch, your loops are only moving a tiny, tiny fraction of that. The closer you are, you move an inch over here. You've just overstretched all like seven. Yeah. You only everything got, like, in front of your loops. finger. Right. Right. And the same with an angle, the farther you hold it back, you move one foot here, your angle changes like 20 degrees. If you're up here, you move one foot, you're at the end of your fucking swivel. Already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. quite literally like this if with the angle thing. 
If I held this here and moved my hand this way an inch, it's a dramatic angle. Right. If I hold it up here and move my hand an inch, it's not as much it's like, an angle. It's a little adjustment. Yeah, it's right. just a tiny adjustment instead of this dramatic adjustment here. It's yeah, a little that's adjustment. why holding it further back <laughs> is one aspect of it. The other one is faster so you can get that sensation going through your hands rather than trying to trying to manually do it, you know, right, fraction right. of time. So analogies, man. Yeah, you got to be careful. Master some analogies. I like how this yeah. stream right now is all jacked up. I have a picture back here. <laughs> Ken's like in the background. Yeah, I was like, why is Ken in you the were, background too? Yeah, like, you were you were focused, dude. You know? Yeah. Oh, see, now Ken's in the background. I don't know where he went. Oh, we'll make this really big. Easy now, Justin. Jason. All right, we got a big Kent background behind us. Okay. Um, be, okay, we're going to wrap this stream up. We've been going strong for about three hours now. Damn. Um, it's uh, like fucking Joe Rogan episode. I know. It's just like Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. That's how long of a like five-hour podcast. Um, Kent, thank you for all of your help. Nick, thank you for all of your help. You gave me a lot of really good useful helpful things today and i think between you guys together because i think i love kent but sometimes when kent's explaining something to me he explains it the what the way he wants it explained to him and that doesn't like it doesn't sit with me right but if you tell me the same thing i go oh oh okay okay nick yeah okay like, yeah exactly it's a little That's bit why i'm so glad i'm so glad he was here to interpret yes, yes. you know Everything that Whatever. I've been trying to interpret from Kent, you in kind of language. like laid it right. out there in like a very normal, like, okay, don't listen to Kent, just do this. And then I go, oh, that's what, <laughs> you know, that's what Kent yeah, already I, said. I, you just explained it a little bit differently, you know. I'm good at this because I made so many mistakes. That's what, that's literally why I got good at it is because I probably made, I, I think I literally made more mistakes to Corbin than yeah. And I really think that's why. Well, that's I good. Get the you know, that's that I'm in. Yeah. experience. And, you know, you have that ability to see when something goes wrong and you know what you what's did wrong. Going. You know what's going on. You know how to correct it if you can correct it. You know, uh, yeah. It's, you, I, I very much appreciate all of your help and input, Nick. And I appreciate you being here today. Uh, I had a, I had a and, blast uh, being here. And yeah, yeah it's. Bro. It's fun watching you do it too. Like Ken said, the last couple of weeks, it is really fun watching you build. Watching, first of all, just somebody pick up a hobby, and yeah. then knowing that it's you and it's coil building, it's really cool. It's been really, really fun, and you know, I say this every week, but I have a, a new tremendous amount of respect for builders and coil builders because like i was saying earlier it's one of those things that sure it looks complicated and you look at these coils up here and you go how would you do that but if you've attempted it then you know exactly how difficult that is <laughs> yeah. so you see these big coil builds on instagram you guys it's the, the amount of work that goes into them the amount of attention to detail and just meticulous you know energy that goes into it it's incredible i mean it's 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 incredible. It's awesome, honestly. And, you know, thank you for uh, for being, uh, you know, the pioneer, you know, a pioneer of this, of coil building and teaching other people to build and getting more builders and then they teach more people to build and it just spreads around and it's it's really great. And I, I appreciate what you've done for our thank community, you. Nick. Very, thank very you. much. Thanks for having me. I mean, and Ken, thanks for putting the putting the word in and thanks yeah. to the community for yeah, dude. backing up that word. You're, you're an obvious choice for this. And I, I really need the help speaking the human language to him. Yeah. It's, apparently I miss that <laughs> sometimes. You know? Easy, Zuck. Easy, Zuckerberg. Listen, don't, don't even. I'm really good at dumbing water. stuff down, dude. I've had it, no, it's good. It's good. Down. And it's not like, it's not even like, <laughs> no. a, I like that. I need it watered down like water it down mm -hmm. give me explain this like i'm like i'm five years people old. learn it yeah people learn at different paces they yeah know. they just like some people like for me this is easy for me to pick up i've been around mechanics and like constructional i already had the drill i've used the drill you know it's it's easy for some people mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. just understand math more 
They yeah. can see things better. It's just yeah. everybody's different. Like, and there's people out there that suck at coil building, but whatever they do for their job, they probably blow me away at. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's just yeah. the time yeah. you spend Everybody on it too. Everybody has a, just... a specialized thing, and like, this is, you know, I. I'm not trying to like, oh, I'm such a busy person. I just get really, really busy and I don't get to carve out like two or three hours on a weekend to sit and build. So getting to sit here with you, Nick, and with Kent, it's real. It's like a, it's like a pressure cooker lesson. You know, yeah. I feel like I'm getting coached by pros yeah. and it's, uh, you know, I feel very fortunate and this is like my practice time. And I like having you guys here, you know, it was the same thing with, uh, a few weekends ago, I got on a Zoom call with Duchess Coils and Mr. Stay Puffed, and they were kind of walking me through aliens and stuff like that. And just having someone be able to watch what I'm doing, see a mistake happen, and then they go, oh, you needed more pressure. Oh, you needed less pressure. Oh, you needed to do this. Like those little, just little helpful things. I mean, it's, yeah. it's incredibly I mean, helpful. To be fully honest, on a scale of one to 10, coachability, you're not I, the I'm highest. I'm bad. I'm not know. a good, uh, I'm not coachable. Uh, you're coachable eventually you're very very stubborn you know i'm you know? stubborn all literally the only benefit that i've given you is to tell you to go faster yes, on the last two streams but that is a helpful thing it is and actually when i when that you're doing this i'm thing. actually a, i'm i'm adoring your patience at, at doing it because most of the guys say they say the reason why i got an alien is because i got frustrated i pressed down on the drill and i finally got an alien because they right. got so frustrated right. with it that they're like right. oh, and then, oh, and then just God, a, God, holy God. shit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's true like the last inch of this yeah, to, is all to that be, like <laughs> oh it worked well to be honest this is probably one of the most frustrating hobbies maybe in existence dude mm -hmm. and like that the most the the biggest skill i think of coil building is to table your frustration and hold it in mm -hmm. and keep going like to to have to do the same thing literally like fucking 20 times dude and maybe you still don't get a success out of it and you come back and do it again it's like that's a, that's i think i think it teaches you it gets you something what is the super chat uh delirium says uh can't leave your hand alone it's the money maker <laughs> dude i know I, he seen me cutting off my calluses over here don't i don't know what i'm doing calluses. I'm real I'm real fidgety today <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're a good coil builder because i'm That's fidgety because you're, you're fidgety you're like i might as well fidget with some wires i'm already fidgety <laughs> anyway no, no, it's, so it's my fidget. hands. I'm, I'm literally cutting chunks fidget. off of my hands. Well, look, I'm going to keep practicing as much as I can. We'll be back here next Monday. Maybe Kent will join us again. Shit, maybe Nick will join us again. Who knows? I would love to. I'm, Let's yeah. get some more I builders mean, maybe on Maybe sometimes here I might be like, hey, I'll be there at 5 instead of 4.30. But yeah, other than whatever. That, I'm good. that would be sick, bro. And it, like, if there's other <sighs> builders out there, I would like to feature some other builders on here. I know there's a lot of really banging builders out there. Uh, most recently, I started following Keymaker Coils. Dude, he's good. It's such yeah. a good Coils community, too. Good. There ain't a coil builder out there Dude, I've ever had an issue with or anything. Every, yeah, every coil builder, every coil builder, I can't stress this enough. Every coil builder, period, has been nothing but awesomely helpful, just kind and courteous, and like, that looks great. Here's what you did wrong. Try this, try that. Like, really really helpful and kind and it's just really nice to step into a hobby and not not have people gatekeeping it, you know <laughs> it's really yeah. nice like no come on try it yeah try it just get out your drill and, and yeah. wrap up some wire like just try it it's fun it's oh just dude cool. my hands in the background my hands are just like super magnified yeah. and i've just been picking my calluses for like the last 40 minutes dude it's yeah. really gross i'm yeah, sorry that's I've... why delirium was like Knock it this off. This deserves some money, Knock you motherfucker. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Dwayne, oh, man, we missed Dwayne. Dwayne said, uh, blow some vapes on the wire. When I was alienating, I should have been blowing uh, vape on it. That would have helped. I still only have a, a 30 mil bottle of ginger oil, so I have to make that shit Dude, last. play your cards right. Next time I'm there, I'll let you milk me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Another reason why I'm good at what I do is because I, I sleep next to the wire, dude. I sleep oh, next you, to the twisted mess wire. literally sleep next to the wire. That's my bed. That, that blue thing's my bed. 
And you just, you just right there. And when, when, when I get lonely, right? it's dark out. Nobody's around. Oh, dude. <laughs> Damn, the first thing you see when you wake up. Fuck yeah, right? bro. He's like, wire. That's wire like life. See, man. Wire life. Uh, had a super chat from Lethal Coils. Yo, yo, Grim. Can't Nick D? Glad to see you on with the boys today, brother. You got this, Nick. Practice, 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 bro. Don't worry about the mess ups. That's how we learn what not to do. Uh, you know, yes, Chris, Lethal Coils, I very much appreciate that. Very and much. And saying that, Kent and Nick will not be on next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> saying that, uh, this is the end of the build stream now. Um, yeah, it just takes a lot of practice. Ultimately, my big takeaways are go faster. Go faster. When, when you Kent get it says in, go fast, when Kent says go, go fast, ahead. when Kent says go fast, go fast. When Kent says go fast, go fast. I still good. feel, dude, la I'm sorry. I'm going to keep talking, dude. Because, like, sure. last week, last week, that was so cool because my fucking power went out and I called in. And it felt like there was some sort of, like, secret agent operation <laughs> going on. And I'm like, and I, the, I feel like the speech I gave you was just it so was. fitting for, like, a movie scene. I was like, do you, <laughs> I was like, I was like, do you trust me? And you're like. Yes, and I'm like, okay, this is like Inception. Okay, you're gonna just have to take a leap it. of faith, man. Yeah, leap you of faith. can you take your leap of faith? I'm like, yeah, you got it going right now, right? It's in there. And you're like, yeah, it seems to be in there. And I'm like, let it go, man. Just fucking go. Just you're like, all right. Go. And what's so it's... funny is like, you didn't think it was gonna work. Nope. You know. Nope. That's and the kind of speeches you, you give when you got twenty thousand dollars on the line, though. You know. <laughs> 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 I like I like that you said you told me later that after you finished that you were actually resentful towards me because it worked. I was. You were like, you were like fuck you, Kent. God, first, why did that work? Yeah, the first thing I in my head as soon as it started working, I was like fucking Kent. Like he was right. <laughs> 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 fucking Kent was right. All right, fine. Maybe I'll listen to Kent Kent a little bit more often. No, so we got two. To you, we got two wins in that department. I just wanted to keep that in mind next time when you're really resisting listening yeah. to me. You know, I'm, I I I was taking a gamble today, and I even mm. said that it didn't work the first time. Mm. I'm glad I persistently asked you to. Okay, I, I'm done talking about myself. Yeah. I apologize. Hey, look. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Well, look, I didn't get a successful alien today, but Kent did. Nick did. So did no, Nick no surprises did. there. Yeah, we both got dual coils. You both got mm. dual coil aliens. Made two sets. Oh, whatever. Two sets of yeah, dual he, coils. He made, that's he made two that, sets. the one set was messed up. I that's the set. difference between uh, years of experience and days of experience. Is that in the same time, Nick Divine knocked out two two sets of coils. I mean, Listen, I'm Nick, pretty you're sure. Pretty he... good, but with my help, you could be the best. You could be the best. Yeah. You could be the best oh, in the man. world. One day could all you imagine this that, yours, dude? dude? Could you imagine Grim Green entering a build competition? It's yeah. Possible. I mean, it's absolutely I got possible. a build-off coming would. up, and I always have a couple tiers, beginners, masters, so it's possible. Dude, all I, I got to say, more, man, uh, I'll in that last build-off, let's be honest, I brought my best, right? Oh, you're doing all – yeah, you were doing really good. That yeah, until actually, that one round – one round didn't work out for me, but look, there's so many good builders out there. A lot. There's a lot of really good builders. I appreciate. I noticed some new builders, some people in the chat today that are builders I've seen on Instagram. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for coming out. Um, yeah, I just become a big fan of building because I was successful with some aliens and Claptons, and now it's like, where do we go? Sky's the limit. It just take me a long time to get there. And that's okay. <laughs> Persistence, right? Persistence, you guys. Um, let me see if there are any more super chats. Otherwise, we can go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah. I don't think it's going to take that long for yeah. you. Yeah. You don't think so? No. I Honestly, I feel like you're a natural at it. All right. You're well, doing pretty you. good, dude. For, for your first alien, you're doing pretty good. I'm, well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's going to come to a point where you guys don't have to be so gentle with me. When I fuck up, you can just be like, wow, you really fucked up. <laughs> you know, you can. You don't have to be so gentle, dude. I'm gonna come to your house, dude. It's yes, gonna, you are. It's over at that point. You're gonna we're, see the full wrath, we're my friend. Because I'll be crazy. I'll be in real life. I'll be over your shoulders, sweating bullets with you. Get out. You know, you're gonna be. You're right gonna be like, there. I want to leave the room. I'm gonna say, like, Nick, you're not done yet. 
faster. Ah. <laughs> I grab your hand. Faster! Ah. Ted's gonna come to your house with a bunch of spools of ribbon wire, and after a night, you're gonna be like, "Can we just do aliens again, Mom?" <laughs> yeah. Today we're doing fralians, naked yeah. framed staples. <laughs> <laughs> Naked Helix. <laughs> uh, lethal Coils, I challenge uh, to a recoil build-off still. Oh, recoil build-off? Look, let me get, let me practice some more Lethal Coils before we get into any sort of challenges. But, uh, okay, that, this has been a, a very good long stream. A lot of fun. Appreciate you guys. One more time, I just want to say thank you, Kent. Thank you, Nick Devine for being awesome, welcoming uh, skilled builders and for welcoming people into your craft. It's a, it's, it's a real fun community and I uh, appreciate all the all the fun help and support. And we'll get there. I got there, one quick know? little more, one more tangent. It's gonna take about five, 10 minutes. Nick. All right, Kent, what do you got? You wanna be full screen here or what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> here, okay, get... fine. Actually, yeah, yeah, this is good. I have one question. Oh, put me back with him. Put me back oh. with Nick. Can I be up here too? No. Okay, yeah, you can. This is cool. Oh, okay. Wow, this is fucking fancy shit. Okay. All right, Nick Devine. This is All right. great. And what, yeah. Have you have you have you made micro Claptons with thirty eight and forty eight? No, I actually have like never touched forty eight. Never touched. 48. Okay. Yeah. Because the reason I ask is because I've had I've enjoyed the vape off of it so much. It's like um, to use that as the alien um, on just a. It's just a, a staple core with some round frames and then a fucking 3848 micro clapton. Yeah, it's like really good vape. The uh, But what's interesting to me is that then I got hooked on Staggertons, right? Just 42 gauge Staggertons with 0.3 and 29 gauge frames. And, uh, and it's a different vape. But when I think about it, it's almost the same innards. Like inside of that fralian is pretty much a staggerton. You got a staple and then two round wires on the outside. And so the vape quality is is very it's it's a different thing. Like the staggertons are real poppy and throaty. And then the the mothership, the aliens. It's like the smoothest vape. And what I realize is like the innards are the same and that microclaptin is acting almost like an external wick on the cores and so it's it's uh it's smoothing out the release it takes more power you regulate it only on these even though they're 0, 0, 0.08 you gotta run it like 150 watts but it's just it's smoother it's fucking trippy dude and what, that what is I'm thinking pretty much though, what's going on i think is the wicking is just better you're right i don't outside. need to be in here you guys can just <laughs> <laughs> but what i'm thinking what I'm thinking though is, oh, I haven't tried yet, is to make a 42 gauge Staggerton and then just wrap that in a fucking 3848 Alien. Oh, it's it should a give Staggerton me a, and an Alien. And it should smooth it out. I should get the best of both worlds, I'm thinking. Yes. But the problem, Probably like, because, like, 46, I feel like until you get down to 3848, the mothership, that micro Clapton on the Alien, it doesn't. It's not a good vape, I feel. Yeah, the big wire, yeah. The big wire can get too much heat, not enough uh, juice on it. First of all, if the wires are too big, they're further away from the wick. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I don't know. I still- All right, good times, was... guys. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this build stream up. Okay, wait, I got one more thing. I'm just kidding there. <laughs> it might take 15 to 20 minutes, but I wanted to take- <laughs> I changed up my battery. I got another two hours left here. All right, well, uh, shit, you guys. One more time, thank you. Thank you to everybody in the chat. I make sure I didn't forget any super chats. I think I got them all. Um, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to play the intro in reverse, and you should stick around and listen to it because you might hear some cool satanic messages and the such as. But uh, appreciate all you guys being here. Go ahead and hit that like button on your way out. That would really uh, help me out a lot. I'll have a link down in the description for Kent's Instagram as well as Nick Divine 83s Instagram. You can follow him. Use the hashtag useguys. The intro in reverse. Hashtag use guys. Hashtag use guys. Anything you want to say? Uh, we're heading out here, Nick. You want to? 
No, I mean, I got a build off coming up, and I think I'm going to redo coil class when school starts again and just go through it all again, just better quality. I'm just yeah. trying to get better quality on my channel. That's one of the things that's really lacking. It's just uh, getting my cameras all together, and that's it. I just want to thank these guys both, and it was a lot of fun. Bro, thank and you. And anytime I'll be back, whatever. Thank you. Just let me know. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you too, Kent. It's whatever for me. Thank <laughs> you, Nick. He's like, I don't care. I don't, I don't need to be here. <laughs> I could be doing better stuff right now. That's fine. You, we, you got the real coil builder, as I said before. We have yeah, on the channel this a, time. So. a real coil builder this time. None of that Kent nonsense. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Fair. You don't know how real I am, but okay. Well, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. Uh, you're not, I'm not saying like your personality or like your, your authenticity in life. I'm, no, I'm you're, talking you're, about you're, like you're, synthetic you're, or whatever. Oh, I see. You never know. Yeah. Mm. You never know. Yeah, you're all probably figments of my imagination, right? You could have just been blinked into existence right now, Kent. You don't know that. Probably was. Think about it. I'm just kidding. That's something you always tell me. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. This is officially the end, Kent. It's fine One with me. Time. I don't know why you're dragging this on so I just want to, you know, I want to make sure we all can say our piece. Everybody remember, stay hydrated. That's right. Stay hydrated, Hydro Hydro homies. And uh, epic build stream. Thanks, you guys. Uh, Nick, we'll be three back hours already. Week. Wrap it up. We'll be back here on Monday for another build stream. <laughs> we got TBN tomorrow. We got a vlog on Thursday. Peace out. Be excellent to each other, you guys. And uh, get those drills fired up and start building some coils. All right? Peace out, guys.